Fly your fair nation. Fly your Thank fair you for nation. tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is produced by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at Kingdom Studios FTL. We have an actual, an actual, actual guest here tonight, other than the regular roundtable people. Dem Sugar Dea. Yeah. And, you know, typically when I have guests, I let them introduce themselves, so... Go ahead. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's Tevin. T to the E to the V to the I to the N as people know me on oh. um my social media site. So that's how I introduce my name. Oh yeah. to the E to the E. Yeah. <laughs> to the yes. yes. Oh, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> well, welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. All right. So Thanks for having me as well. <laughs> it's the only I got. Anyways. Twin, I don't know if you know, but I met Tevin in uh, partially, was it? No, TPM, live video chat. Yeah. Right? Because back in the day, we used to watch <laughs> TPM <laughs> live videos and be in their videos, like, cutting up, like, just <laughs> talking bear shit, because, of course, chinks. and Underneath the bottom hmm? end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we were just in the comments going back and forth. I'm like, this guy is mad cool. Like, he's on my personal Instagram, like, not just pointless talk. So I was like, he's mad. And then, you know, he follows and listens and all that stuff. Thanks for the support. All yeah. that good shit. <laughs> so as you do listen to the show, you know, we yes. here for the LGBT, <laughs> Caribbean, etc. cetera. Um, do you identify as a member of the LGBT? Um, QIA plus? <laughs> recently, yes. Recently, I have just... Um, converted? Not converted, <laughs> but I recently <laughs> finally came out and said that I'm gay. Oh. Rather than, you know, because I mean, I am what I am. Everyone can tell what I am, but mm -hmm. um, I recently said, okay, you know what, screw it. I'm gay. That's it. To okay. make life 10 times easier for everybody. So what were you identifying as before? I was just a person. Just just Tevin. Just, just Tevin. Okay. Just, and however the wind blows, that. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it's funny you say that because Jabian, um, he says, he's like, I've never heard him say that he's gay. Like, he'll talk about his boyfriend or he'll talk about whatever, but he'll never come out and say, I'm gay. And I was like, huh, <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, exactly. But that's because, I mean, Jabian is, yeah, just, I was around a very, um, I grew up in Miramar. So okay. it was, it's very Caribbean influence. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going to school with Haitians, Jamaicans, mm -hmm. and so on and so on, that, you know, the Bati boys and oh. this, this, this. <laughs> and so I always pull back from even calling myself that because so much growing up, see, I don't know now, it seems like it's cool to be that in school. Mm. So eat, my sister goes to school and um, she like posts about gay rights and everything. Mm -hmm. Not because of me, but I can tell like it's cool to stand up for that. But when we was in school, it was looked down upon. Yeah. You're the gay boy. You're this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always. Okay. Well, have you always known? Like, when did you realize that you were different? Um, <laughs> Funny. It's two, two, two occasions, actually. Okay. Um, I can remember as long as, I want to say first grade. Mm -hmm. I want to say first grade. It was a guy named Lorenzo. Oh, my God, Lorenzo. <laughs> I'm not going to say his last name, but he's on my Facebook. Yes. But oh, Jesus. Lorenzo. Um. That Wait, was my first hold on. Is Lorenzo gay? No. Okay. Lorenzo is not gay. Okay. <laughs> but it's, it, no, I started school in Miami, mm -hmm. and then I went to school in Broward. So when I went to school in Broward, this was years ago, years, and then Lorenzo came mm -hmm. to my high school. I haven't seen him since oh, elementary. Wow. So he came to my high school, and I was like, this cannot be happening. <laughs> so that was like the first time that I actually um, said, oh, maybe I... Something is weird with this boy. And, um, <laughs> oh, it was him. <laughs> yeah, it was him, and it was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ooh, child, oh, child, I can't blame you. Yet, <laughs> I had, no, no, no. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I, had, I had his posters all around my room growing and up. And just his underwear. Yeah, because I love wrestling. My family mm -hmm. grew up on wrestling. WWF was our mm -hmm. thing. Th that was it. Mondays, Thursdays, like Sundays, the pay-per-view. Sundays for the pay-per-view. Uh -huh. yeah. we, yeah. we, were, we were like, bam. So I always was like the rock the rock mm -hmm. and he was just so electrifying like I had <laughs> electrifying electri electrifying yes and and, and I, I had his action figures i had oh my God. tons of action figures i had a wrestling ring my parents brought me microphones like i literally i would used to walk around and talk like oh the rock my and my God. dad used to slap me all the time on my head like why are you doing that and i used to try to wear like shorts like the rock shorts oh my mm. god like i used to fold yeah, my underwear yeah because he did used up. to wear the little booty shorts yeah. like he used to wear them little speedos yeah he did so i used to fold my underwear up and walk around the house like I do can't. you smell and my dad used to be like Psh. what the I'm rock like, is cooking <laughs> <laughs> and my brothers laughed but it was lorenzo and the rock okay 
So at a really early age. Okay. Do your parents, are you out to your parents? I'm out. I'm out to my parents. I came out when I was 21. Nice. Okay. Very How nice. was that? Oh, it was very interesting. I fell in love with a boy. Mm -hmm. His name was Mike. Mm -hmm. um, Mike know who he is because oh. Mike is very special. Still. Okay. He's not gay. But yes, oh. he's not gay, but okay. he's very special. But this is someone that we slept in the same bed every night because <laughs> he was over my house and we like took him in. Okay. So imagine... Okay. Being in love with someone that you can't touch, mm -hmm. but you sleep in next to them every single Ooh, night. Oh, child. <laughs> they know how you feel, and they're straight. Oh, wait. He knew? He that knew. You... Huh. Yes. He is very special. Yeah, he's very... So he knew. But we always kept it... I always kept it respectable <laughs> mm -hmm. towards him. Like, he knew, but I never would make a move towards yeah. him. Yeah. Cause like, you know he wasn't yeah. gay. So. And when he, when, he see, when, he, when he's talking to a girl, mm -hmm. he makes sure he... You know, like move the girl to the side so I don't see, it, even though I'm seeing it. Aww. So, yeah, so he was very respectable too. To to me, that what, is what, so cute. Yeah. So it made me really. It made me. You don't hear that too often. So yeah. It's like, like such an awesome guy. And mm -hmm. then, but I wasn't out to my mom. I was out oh. to my friends, but not to my mm -hmm. mom right. or to my brothers. Um, one day, I was like, I have to do it. So my mom was in the kitchen, and me and Mike. It's would... always the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh food. Why? You know people it's do everything over food. It's always the kitchen. Why, why is that? That's, I came out to my mom in the kitchen. Really? Yes. It's in the, the kitchen. kitchen. It's always why? the kitchen. That's where all the good conversations happen. It's so weird. And I remember her chopping up onions. Like Wait, while onions she had a knife in her hand. Yeah. The irony. Yeah. Yeah. Of onions. But, but my mom is me. Like, my mom is like my girl. Uh -huh. Like, we're like this. Okay. So she was hurt that I didn't come to her before. And you oh, know mom knows. Must be nice. Of course. Mo Mom's knows already. So my mom was like, um, I was like, Mom, I have something to tell you. She's like, what? Now, straight up, like, I'm like, like. Mm -hmm. And then I said the words. I was like, I like Mike. <laughs> That's how I said it. I like, I like Mike. Mike. And she's like, huh? What? And I was like, yeah, I like Mike. And I just started crying. Mm -hmm. Like, oh tears. God. Yeah, you can't help the tears. Yeah, yeah. tears just came. You can't help And then my mom starts laughing. <laughs> and she's like, boy. If you don't okay. move. She's like, we know. Like, <laughs> like, everyone knows you like Mike. She was oh like, my gosh. everyone can see you like Mike. Because... Even me and my mom had a little, I won't say argument, because I would never argue, like, back mm -hmm. and forth. But we had a disagreement mm -hmm. over Mike. And she was just like, listen, out of all your years, you have never, like, said anything back to me. But Mike. Oh, yeah. man. You, you was coming about back Mike. to Mike. Yeah. You can't talk about Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but, had, they picked at me for months about, don't talk about Mike. Oh, like, my parents man. Were like, don't talk about Mike. Don't talk about Mike. Don't talk about Mike. But Mike, no. Like. Mike, wow. it, Mike will always have a special place, even though he just had a baby. But congratulations, he, Mike! Yes, congratulations, Mike! <laughs> up yourself, Mike. But he will always have that special. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. You don't find a lot of heterosexual men that will like, you know, be respectful and even protective in a way of your feelings, mm -hmm. knowing that you're attracted to them, or even just being gay in general, much less being attracted to them. So shout out to him. There are a few of them he out there. He treated you the yeah, way he, he should. He, he should have. Yeah, and like I a loved human it. being. But yes. it made me fall deeper in love with him. Yeah. Of course it did. Bittersweet. And it, yeah, it was sweet, it but I was falling deep, deep. Now deep. you were just like, damn, now you really. It's like, why you had to be straight? Now you really? Yeah. Yeah, now you're like, you really fine. Like, yeah, exactly. Real, real yeah, I'm fine. talking about he fine now. He got like hazel eyes. Oh, God. Like, oh. like. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. like, Everything. Fine. Mm -hmm. Mike. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. Yeah. He's going to oh, kill gosh. me when he watches this. He probably is. He is going to kill me. <laughs> but I love you, Mike. So He's going to be like, really, Tevin? You had yeah. to do all of but that? But they, they don't know who I'm talking Well, some people, but not everybody know who I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. We, we, we you know, all go right, Mike. Mike. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, how was it coming out to your friends and stuff, though? It was, um, I mean, they know. Mm -hmm. in, in school, they know. Did you lose any friends coming out? Um, no. Actually, okay. I didn't lose any friends um, that I know of. Mm -hmm. But right. you know people. Mm -hmm. It's always that, mm -hmm. that you yeah, know of. That I know of. Uh, but we'll speak on something later on. But okay. yeah, th that, that I, I didn't lose any friends that I know of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even my pastor. Cool, bro. Yeah, even my pastor. Like, oh, dear. I was going to the church, and he was like, um... I love you. Mm -hmm. He was like, I love you. So it 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 doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like you're always gonna be Tevin to me. Right. No matter what hmm. your choices are. Imagine that. Yeah, and he's so supportive. I like I send him pictures of my boyfriend. And oh what shit! What does he say? He, I mean, <laughs> he, exactly tells, does he, he tells me all the time like um 
hate the sin but love the sinner. Oh boy. Okay. 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 Yeah, I know. So, I know. I know. Okay. I'm, no, no, no. I'm hearing you. Yeah. You know, but whatever. but you know, I gotta respect that because other pastors would have shushed me off. But he still texts me. Mm-hmm. Yo, how you doing? I'm thinking about you. Making so sure you rather the that's the word I'm looking for. It's kind of not. It's not trying to say on, it's not your fault. It's not full <laughs> on like embrace, mm-hmm. but it's like. Well, all right, but come here anyway. Come here yeah. anyway. Yeah. Well, you re- rather that than like somebody. I don't know. Well, the real test is if I get married and I send him an invitation to my okay, gay okay. wedding. You should, no, no, no. You should ask him to. Uh, <laughs> but I already to have, marry you. <laughs> but I already had family members tell me like they would not come to the ceremony, but they would come to the reception. No, really. No, you're not turning up with me after. But this. I'm not invite. <laughs> but my thing is, I'm not inviting you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I know oh. that's right. Uh uh-uh. uh So it's forget you about with me. It. It's, it's either you with us or you're not. Like point blank. This period. is and, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he's okay. with me. But he's showing that he's with me right now. But then but, he says. But the test. No, he's saying. He's saying I'm with you. I'm with you 100. percent But. Mm-hmm. I'm like my test for him is when I send him that wedding invitation. Mm-hmm. And to see if he actually will show up, to mm-hmm. see if he'll let me have it in his church, to see mm-hmm. that's when you know. Okay, are you down for us or are you just, just make sure but, you plan for a backup the, just in case? Oh, hate the sinner, not the sinner, right? Hate, yeah, no, hate love, the, love, love the, the sinner, hate, hate the, the sin. sin. Yeah, yes. I know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm saying. I know what you're yeah. saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all, I'm not retarded. I got <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But y'all know what I'm saying. So. I don't know. Because I'm very... It's, I'm, a, it's me and something about that phrase all the yeah. time with, with certain shit. I don't know. It's just... Mm. Well, I'm very big in a church. No, no, no. So is she. Like, yeah. This is so, what I'm saying. No, yeah. I hear you. But it's an it's a, it's a inner conflict kind of thing. Ah. Uh, yeah, because they be like, oh, but it's like... You kind of like, oh, come here, kind of-ish. You know what I'm saying? one arm hug. Yeah, like, oh, come here. I'm going to mm. pray for you, though. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, I, n- I never felt that. Ever since I said, like, the love hasn't changed one bit. Mm-hmm. Before I told him and after the love happened, you probably already knew that's why, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, because now that you came out and said it, it's kind of like okay, well, mm-hmm. he's accepting. But this it, was so. like at the same time when Obama just approved the like mm-hmm. gay marriage. Oh, to trust all the me, United. we remember. Oh. So, so, were we at was, Pride when it happened? We were no here, way. I, it was the we're day, the day, the day I was gonna fly up, the day I was gonna catch the flight to go to um New York. That's wow. when it happened. I was, I fell asleep mm. and I woke up. Mm-hmm. Um, that girl mm-hmm. who I was with mm-hmm. once upon a time texted me Her. and was right, yeah, and was like, boom. And then you were coming the yeah. day, the same, yes, you were coming yes, the yes, night yes, you yes, came yes, the yes, night. Yes, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. that's the would you, yeah, and the mm-hmm. <laughs> uh oh, ooh, that mm. damn. Well, that that day was very <laughs> emotional, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tevin. It was very emotional. Perfect word to you, <laughs> very <laughs> even I. It was it was it was very emotional. I don't I don't know where I was, but um, it was very emotional because on Facebook mm-hmm. you see nasty people. Oh yeah, just nasty. Oh yeah, people like yeah. Yeah, and yeah. these were church people. Oh yeah, they're oh, the yeah. best. They were... and, and oh my god, I'm gonna get killed for saying this, but my friend who I love so much, mm. he's a great friend of mine, but very close, Chris. <laughs> you name dropping tonight? Yes, I'm name dropping because I love them, but they, and they're gonna watch. But anyway, um, Chris. He started posting all this about straight pride and all this. And then oh. I was yes, yes, one of those people. But I love, but I love Chris to death. But you know what? Chris was, um, I won't say um, homophobic, mm-hmm. but you probably will never catch him around a gay person. And now we're closer than ever. I'm one. I'm I'm his. Yeah, I'm a godparent of his son. Oh. Yes, and he lets you around the children listen, with your gayness. Are you one of you're so, so you're one of those? But, but I'm one. saying. Go ahead. This lifestyle can change people as mm-hmm. well. Yeah. If you love someone, then you learn you learn to accept I, how they live. Right. So I can see Chris learning to do that with mm-hmm. me as well. Like at first it was kind of uh uh it, and then he It like, depends on the type of person you are. Yeah. Because a lot of people see like gay and lesbian people as like extra yeah. and loud and you're just kinda like, yeah, doing too much all the time. But when they actually get to know like, oh, like you yeah, yeah, like what y'all think I really be out here doing? I do the same shit you yeah. do. I be bored just like you. <laughs> For real. Like they think you be out here, all type of circus just shit. Just doing all, yeah. all the gayest stuff. But when they really gay-est. get to know, they're like, oh, you yeah. can, I, yes, I oh. can hold a conversation. Yes, yes. yes. I read books. You're so a watch human. Yes. You're a human. You don't yes, have I four eyes. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. 
but you, you bam right there because they think we're all so flamboyant and everything and yeah. i'm i tried to sway away from the flamboyancy but <laughs> mm. uh, it comes out as when i get excited my friend's like yo you be like, you be flipping yeah no no <laughs> well, I, just, I just get so excited that my voice get high and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then my friends are like whoa like oh, okay what just happened <laughs> like yeah. it jumped out yeah, yeah it happened you know do you we, have like gay friends Ooh. No. Well, I heard that. I heard that. Um, on on the ship, yes. Mm -hmm. At home, no. Mm -hmm. All my friends are straight. Why? You, you know, it's funny. I it's, asked you it's that. It's weird. It's weird. What? What? Why, why did you ask me? Because that? the way how Chinks and JB and R like they they love them some Tevin. Like they be like, yeah, Tevin's a homie. Da da da. da. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, all right, cool. Because remember, I told you like he was asking like, are you, does he know he's gonna be talking yeah. about this and like whatever? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, wait, is he? I was like. He's not in the closet. I like. I even started questioning. Like, is he in the closet? I was like, wait a minute, no. And I'm like going through your Instagram. I was like, no. He's talking about he likes boys. And wait a minute now. <laughs> so that's why I was asking because like, I don't see any like quote unquote super gay things on your page. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'd be like, you know, whatever. But at the same time, and then he told me that you used to work at Chinaman too. And yeah. I was like, who child? Because I know it's a lot of um. <clears throat> Straights and fun people that you oh, go in the Chinaman. That's a printing shop. Sh by shout the way. out to Chinaman. <laughs> they make good, actually good quality stuff and all that. You know all the all the hood burgers and stuff. Yeah, that was my first stuff. job at Chinaman. Really? Yeah, so I, I he, that man right there taught me a lot about myself. Okay. So shout out to Chinaman. Yeah, he said you was into graphic design and all yeah, that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, I literally like wow. That used to be my life, graphic design. Like, and then JBN, we linked up with JBN. And he was just literally, he was so nice. From mm -hmm. the time I met him, always show me respect and everything. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, and so how do you go from graphics to cruise? Well, ever since I was 11, I went on my first ship. Okay. Um, it was at, for a Royal Caribbean ship, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it was a Royal Caribbean ship, the Navigator. And <laughs> um, I fell in love with everything. Like, you can see the pictures. I have pictures at my grandma's house. Uh -huh. I'm a little boy, and I'm just cheesing every. I'm, like, the happiest person on every single picture. <laughs> and then I told my aunt, which who took me on the ship, I was like, I want to do this. She was like, huh? I was like, I want to work on the ship. So, shout out to Mr. Clark. Now, Mr. Clark, this is what you about to get it. Now, my teacher, Mr. Clark, he used <laughs> oh, to always Jesus. scream at me because in class, I used to always have pictures of cruise ships. Oh, my And showing gosh. everybody, oh, this, like, literally, I was in middle school. Like, oh, this ship, did it. And people used to be like, Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> and then he used to always be like, I can't believe your parents took you from school on a cruise in the middle of the school year. Mm -hmm. Don't hate, bitch, you yeah. mad? Well, he, he always told me that. And now when he see me working, he's like, wow. Like, ever since I saw you in middle school, you literally talked about cruise ships, and now mm -hmm. you get to work. So this is like a dream of mine come true. That's awesome. Seriously, Jesus. like... And it's 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 it's, it's, it's just, so cute. He just got me smiling. I'm just like, this is so like, awesome. But it's so nice, and it makes it makes me happy. Like graphics made me happy as well. But I knew that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, you're I was passionate always, about this. Yes, I was always I was always good with graphics. Just I just fell into it. But I love customer service. I love people. Ooh, I love to. Child. He preaching to somebody. <laughs> I love customer service. I love people. I just love making people smile on their vacations. And every time I'm having a bad day. I literally have a picture of me as a little boy. Oh my god! Hanging in my cabin to remind myself this is what you want. This is your dream. Don't forget. And when you go out there, it's gonna be little boys and little girls watching you. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, people like you need to be in customer service, not me with my bad attitude, because uh -oh. I'd be like. <sighs> <laughs> but they take you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they, they no, they take you past there. Mm -hmm. Like, and sometimes you be about to jump over the counter. <laughs> but, but you know what? People, yeah, mm -hmm. especially yeah. Americans. I love my America. I'm American, so you know, Americans they complaints. Like, oh yeah, just they they complain before they even get to the ship. Mm -hmm. They got a complaint on Facebook. I'm like, you're not even on the ship, man. Because a lot of people follow me before, <laughs> mm -hmm. so I see their page. I go back, and they're already complaining before they even on the ship. So, but I'm just like, listen. But I tell them all the time, uh, you you pay too much money to be standing in guest services line. So I'm gonna need to go get a drink, have some fun, you know. And like, they, before they... Before they even get on. Listen, I always talk about the people and their self-entitlement and everything, and that is probably my biggest issue <laughs> with customer service because I do have a bad attitude in real life sometimes, but like when it comes to customer service, I'm like, okay, this is my job. I'm getting paid to deal with this, so mm -hmm. I'm about to put on a smile, <laughs> and I'm about to be real polite to you, whatever. When they start beating, I'm like, okay, cool. 
So what do you need help with? Mm-hmm. Yep. I need a manager. Hi, nice to meet you. What do you need help with? Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you like that at all? <laughs> oh no, she's a nice person. She be smiling at people for real, for real. Like she, her, her smiles are genuine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, her smiles are genuine all the time. See, we just love people. Yeah, I try. <laughs> We just love people. It's cause it's cause y'all Christian, good good Christian. People. <laughs> <laughs> it's the devil in me. It's okay. No, I don't. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just I don't know. I don't know why. I always been like this. Such a people person. Like people always tell me like I just met you and I feel like I know you for some time. Like, I grew into this. I'm like oh, you don't know me. No, I grew into this. No, I grew into this. My grandma had to get her hands on me and, uh-huh. and oh. groom me. Oh really? No, yeah, cause but my mouth is still slick, so that's why. I'm oh hello, to... that ain't going nowhere. No, that's <laughs> never going to leave me. <laughs> but then I have my really really like nice like mm-hmm. sweet like I could deal with people. I deal with people very, very well. I'm like how you are, like, you said the guy, he got to know you and all of that. <laughs> Me, I'm like that buffer in a lot. Like, I can mesh with a lot of different people. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's... Which is why I'm okay with where I work right now because mm-hmm. I can talk to people, but yeah. yeah, F them too at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's, that's why I love my job too. No customers come inside, so I'm great. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I'll no face to face customer contact. Exactly. They don't get to see my resting bitch face. Exactly. They, I, I send an email and I'm like, thank you. Have a good day. Good morning. Thank you for reaching my fucking bitch. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my my cust- customers are front of your face. So, whatever yeah. face yeah, you do, you... they're like, excuse me. I pay my money. I'm like, I'm trying to think because <laughs> I've been on a cruise. So, I'm trying to think of like your position. Like, what exactly do you. So, the voice that you hear. Around the ship, Correct. doing announcements. Doing, That's you. Yes. 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 So, yes. So I'm the voice That's from above, as they call it. So, <laughs> the voice from above. Yes, the voice from above. So every time you hear me, I make announcement: where to eat, where to go, safety briefing, where to get off the ship, where to do this. That's you. I'm like, yes, I'm the as I. That's I it. simplify it to say I'm the MC of the ship. Correct. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. What do they call it? A cruise director. I remember it's funny you said that when back in partial I keep talking about partial ignorant TPM days Uh it was Tevin for cruise director yeah that was your username Tevin for cruise director and then I was like huh so I went and looked I was like oh that's a cool job to have and then it became Tevin cruise director and I was like bitch yeah it literally it it, it literally happened overnight and um well I won't say overnight but one day, it's, it's literally a job. One day, you're not a cruiser at the next day, you're a cruiser. I remember my boss telling me, he was like, um, I have to leave on emergency. This is how I got the promotion. He was like, I have to leave on emergency in like two days. So um, the office, they're looking for someone to come. But I told him, don't send anyone. I want Tevin. You was probably like. <laughs> and he's like, and we're, we're at a show. So mm-hmm. we're at a show. He's like, yeah. So um, tomorrow, you're going in. And I'm like, Excuse me? He's like, yeah, tomorrow you're going in. And literally, I, I froze for like a good five minutes. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, oh, like everything. Tr- so when he left, um, I took over for like two weeks and we rocked it out for two weeks. And mm-hmm. then um, he came back, did some training. And then that's when they pretty much told me, we want you to take over his vacation. Mm-hmm. And we, we, we knocked him dead. Like when I say this was... It was black excellence all around the ship. Like, it was amazing. And I tell people in my team and other people, like, this is something special. What you're witnessing is something special. And my team, they they couldn't understand it until I told, I said, listen, y'all, just take a moment. Look around. Because we get so caught up in everything. And I'm just like, when you're on stage, when we're doing everything, because we have big events. Mm-hmm. Have you seen some video? I want you yeah. to see some video. Like, it's hundreds and sometimes thousands of people. Mm-hmm watching you and they're dancing they're on the same beat and they're screaming and i get up and i do my things you know i have a we do michael jackson stuff we do tina turn i do the wig throw off the wig yes um and i do a big speech at the end to tell people you know spread love believe in yourself Mm -hmm. and do this and people are crying all over but i'm just like it's not my point to make them cry but i feel like if you got a platform Mm. this is it you need to use it for Mm -hmm. something who are we talking to? But a lot of people hate that, hated that of me. And that's why, now I'm about to get real, that's why I walked away from Carnival. Oh. Because they gave me, I feel like um, Carnival gave me the cold hand. When I sent emails, no one, the emails got slower, the people started responding. The mm-hmm. more praise I got, uh, the more mm-hmm. it went Listen. like this. First it was like this, then it went like, 
I'm like, oh, what's trickling. going on? Mm-hmm. That's why I said my Facebook, like the people on my Facebook, they're amazing. They support me. Shout out to my Facebook. Um, <laughs> if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's Tevin at C. So, but we we have fun there. We take we I take them to church. <laughs> I take them to the marching band because I'm from marching band. We we throw oh. eight counts out there. We have a good old time, chat. We take them to the Caribbean. <laughs> we, 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 we have fun, but I make sure everyone is involved. So, hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bad mind people never prosper. Yeah. Like, that's... Because look at this. You... Because we're talking about your health insurance and mm-hmm. all that stuff. You went through that, and then now you're with another company. And that gives me everything. Yeah, so you... It might look like, you know, oh, my God, what am I going to do next? Or, oh, my gosh, I need to fix this, like rectify this in a way you leave one situation thinking okay we got to start over but you end up in another position that's Period. essentially better and better ship and, uh, yeah, <laughs> clearly and i got hired in less than two days oh well shit then i may be like you when i grow no, up no no ah, no it's, it's, all about, it's all about time and placement mm. and god will put you in the right place at the right Ooh. time and let you know what when 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 he's ready to move you he's gonna move you and when, when he's not ready to move you he's not gonna because i worked for norwegian cruise line first <laughs> i worked for carnival and now i'm working for royal i put my application in for royal so many times mm. i put it in. it wasn't time they it wasn't even hey. it wasn't even 10 hours before they responded to my email picked it up i said whoa one time mm-hmm. they said can we do an interview with you tonight what did a skype interview they said okay we're gonna put you on a second interview we're gonna call you in the morning they called me in the morning send me the email we need you you got the job i was like whoa mm-hmm. like godspeed that was it everybody was mm-hmm. like dang you did that fast i'm like it wasn't me that's godspeed <laughs> literally and literally i was like whoa this is amazing all these times i applied to royal when i really needed royal Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they snatched me up so Mm -hmm. i feel like all these steps has been preparing me for Mm -hmm. royalty preach that boy (laughs) preach that royalty you excited about this i'm i'm scared i'm excited i'm leaving my boyfriend so um he's with carnival oh now Uh (laughs) uh-oh did y'all meet on carnival so you have a boyfriend yes i have a boyfriend okay I'm gonna lose all my people on this one, but yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have a boyfriend. Okay, so okay, so now you work for Royal now. I work and for he Royal. Works for Carnival. Yes, <laughs> I can't say too much on this topic because no, I don't not. know who's watching. But of course. right now he works for Carnival. Right. Okay. Um, okay. We're trying to do something. Maybe you know. Gotcha. I, to, I told him let me just let me handle it. Let me get in here yeah, real let quick. Me, let me get in it. You know. Oh, let me get in my groove. Let and me stack my going, money and, and see what's you, going on. Right. You can move. He's from Guyana. Um, He's from Guyana. He's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Is he like Indian? Yes. Oh, he likes Indian boys. I didn't. Oh, they're my favorite flavor. Yeah. Flavor. Flavor. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) I love Indian boys and I love black boys. Okay. Yeah. He just came back from India. Yeah, I just came back from. I I don't play girl. I I make for the second time. But India was amazing. It was amazing. Really? I've never been. Very um. (laughs) Oh, I might get in trouble saying this. No. Very close-minded people. Mm. Mm-hmm. But the closet is the, the, yeah, full. The, yeah. uh, I'm sure. To the brim. Yeah, I'm to sure. To the brim. Like, they need to build more closets. Like, <laughs> that, like, <laughs> like. I'm sure. Yo. I'm sure. Because, I mean, why else would there be such a push for them to actually have to pass a law for yeah. gay rights? Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Well, it's still not. it's still not accepted. Like straight well, up, people course. straight up like like don't bring that stuff around. I know, I know, I know because we talked about that. I had someone right after Trinidad passed there. Someone mm-hmm. from Trinidad came on the show and we talked, and they were like, "Child, please, that's the law." But you know, the the citizens, they if they don't care about it, they don't care about yeah. it. Yeah, but um, with India too, I love India so much, but um, they have to change the mm-hmm. the way they think. Mm-hmm. Have to change, and it. It's bigger than gay rights when people yeah. are like, oh, like everybody's like, oh, Tevin is going to India because they just. I'm like, no, that's really? not my ticket been booked, but that's <laughs> that's good that that happened. But mm-hmm. okay, but um, they it's just a lot of stuff they need to change, like just the way they think. Yeah, you know I feel like it's one of those cultures that I don't, I don't like to call people backwards, but they're very backwards. Backwards thinking. as hell. Yeah, yes. like even with like <laughs> backwards it's hell. it's a misogynistic na- um, nation. nation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. 
but the people are they what you look, gonna say I, I don't see it changing though i mean it needs to change not any t- not probably in our lifetime because it's like generations and generations yeah it's not it, it yeah. will it will not it's, it's their culture too you like start how, from the bottom up with it sometimes. yeah like but, but that's hard to do but they're not gonna they're not going to um they're not going to what should i say go get ahead mm-hmm. if they think the way they think because no one wants to travel to india this bring go ahead no one wants to travel to india <laughs> got me excited go ahead no 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 what what what's up bro? that was gonna bring me to dalton no, oh. no one no one wants to travel to india <laughs> because they're so yes but yes no one wants to travel to india because they're so close-minded and the people you can't do what you want to do for Correct. example i had on tank top my friend was like absolutely not he was like and it was like 90 something degrees mm-hmm. he was like absolutely not he was like you really have to put on a shirt i'm like this is a shirt he was like no 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 you need to put on like a long sleeve shirt so i was literally like 90 degrees so at the beach <laughs> The long sleeve shirt. So you can't. No. I mean, they take off their shirt at the beach, but I you can't wear tank tops. Like I was trying to wear a tank top. They were like, no. And I was in. I mean, in Goa, yeah, because that's a tourist place mm-hmm. and um more touristy place. But I I didn't go to touristy places. Well, you wanted real like, India. Yeah, I wanted the real Indian yeah. experience. So I went to like Bhubaneswar. I've been to like Pune. I've been to like these are like. I was like, I want to live like the people. I don't want to live in five star hotels. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to live for like six dollars. I was literally. <laughs> I mean, I stayed in some five star hotels when I needed it, but mm-hmm. I was like, I can't take no more. I can't, I, can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. But I heard like Jamaica, they bathe like with the buckets and stuff. Is, is that true? Is that true? <sighs> tell me, tell me, because when I wait, posted wait, wait, it, wait, when, wait, when, wait, when wait. I posted, because I posted it on my. I posted on my Facebook because they had like a bucket that I had to fill up mm-hmm. with water, and then I had soap, mm-hmm. and then I had to use the bucket. And, and, and people was like, "Yeah, when I was in Jamaica, I did that." Yeah, Jamaica. Hold on. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Recently. <laughs> what? Recently. This was my trip to yeah India. They recently told me this. Well, I don't know how recent they went to Jamaica. Right. Yeah. What I'm asking. Recently? Yeah I, don't, yeah, I don't know how recent they went to Jamaica, but that's what they were saying. And like, where did they go? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been to Jamaica many times, but not to stay. I've been on a ship. So okay. I've been to like Ocho Rios. I went to um, Montego Bay. Yeah, Montego Bay. So, stuff like that. So, yeah. tourist areas. Yeah. 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 Um, The bucket and water thing. Yeah. How, tell me. We have indoor plumbing. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, they have I indoor plumbing like too. To um, the the pipe turns on like the pipe that, here, and okay, the, thank the you. thing comes out. The, so the these wall. these people probably ain't been in Jamaica since what, the eighties. And where in Jamaica were they? This because is what I'm saying. I mean, there's people like me and Cat who have good, nice bathroom and still want to go bathe in the river, but because the river water feels great, especially when it's hot outside. Jesus Lord. Exactly. But. Then there's people like if you don't have indoor plumbing, you might you know have a standpipe in the yard or something. Yeah. And well, maybe maybe that those people I'm not judging, but maybe those people come from that. I feel like, but I feel like a lot of people. Bush, run us on bush also. <laughs> but even still, I feel like some people say that who haven't actually been to Jamaica because I've heard people talk about Jamaica in in a way that I'm just like, but where ever and been? where? Like, oh, okay, that yeah. So it's kind of like oh, it's a third world country. Y'all people don't have are very thing, like. like Ignorant. Yeah, like well, there. I go down there. They're like, "Oh, are you gonna be able to use your phone? Are you gonna be able to stay in contact? <laughs> well, you think I go down there and ha- what happens to me? They sound like my mom. Cans and a string. <laughs> like I don't understand. You think I don't walk into my house and there's Wi-Fi there? There's Wi-Fi there. There's cable there. Big screen TV. Yeah, a, a lot. Of, but you center. know, a lot of people think Thank that. You. Even even like, even my mom. Daddy my mom too. tells me all the time. Crazy. She's like, "Where you? Go? I'm not. I'm not going to the war. Like." <laughs> Right. They have water. They have food. They got this. They got this. I mean, and those, yeah. I mean, they have showers as well. But mm-hmm. I could have paid an extra couple of more dollars. They got mm-hmm. a nice shower. I've been at home, but it wouldn't be traveling if if, yeah. if you don't experience stuff and do stuff. I was gonna say the only time is was water like water did lock off. Yeah, maybe well, probably what? the probably. person you're talking about like. Because sometimes the water, the water goes water out. Was like, like not goes well, out. Well, I don't know. I, I, I because actually, then it would. Yeah, that might make sense because you have it collected. Yeah. Well, these these are um people. I don't even know if they're Jamaican, to be honest. Oh, but no. um, I yeah. 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 <laughs> Jamaican. 
Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, sometimes, like she said, like the water, they'll cut off because of drought, just mm-hmm. so they'll turn off water a certain time of night so or a certain time. Everybody yeah. Everybody put their drum, their buckets, whatever yeah. outside. Oh. Or they so have, they can most catch. houses now have uh, the big drum outside so they catch the water That's automatically. Awesome. Like the big black one outside. Yeah. Else or the blue one, yeah. Because nobody knows tank again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, somebody teeth off the one from my father's um, Good night. House. Good night. No. Good night. You know what? No. The big black one? No, the blue one. He had the <laughs> tap on there and he, no, this is a story because he told me the story when I went down. Somebody that he worked with, right? He had the key to the place Peace. and he said he came and they said that they stole it, right? So my dad is like, all right, okay. So then when he go, he see that the same thing that was missing, this person didn't teeth it properly because they left evidence oh, and it no. didn't make no sense. They left the pipe part inside and they're the only person that had the key to the house. Good, good, good. <laughs> Because you know he's building a house. So, like, you know, the, the guy helped him build a house and everything like that. So he come and teeth the something and left the tap inside the house. So he came to pick up something oh, else. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah, idiot. Who the trust? Yeah. Uh, uh. Who the trust? <laughs> Who the trust? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> okay, so you have a boyfriend. We're going to get back yes. to you. Yes. Your parents met him? Yes, recently. Recent? How, yeah. how long have y'all been together? We've been together coming up to a year now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We met January 13th. Oh. And it's weird. Cause it, yeah. It's my sister's birthday. Oh, my. Up, Mine's the 10th. Yes. Shout what? Your birthday's the what? The 10th. Of what? January. Oh, my uh. mother's the 9th. Yes. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> Such a nice day. The 10th of January. Anyways, Uh-oh. go ahead. Go ahead. Push. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so my parents met. Um, my mom is um, dad. I hate to say stuff that, but my mom and dad met him, and they like him. They like him? Yeah. So far, so good. I like him. They like him. I don't like a lot of people. So oh, okay. Okay. if I bring them to my mom, she know it's like, okay. You know, like a lot of people in like a uh, relationship? Yeah, not relationship. You picky? Not picky, but I've never really been in a relationship because I'm not with the foolishness. Mm. Like if someone showed me one sign of foolishness, I'm out. It's like, the way he said mm. it though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that was me. It got me together. My shirt was like. <laughs> Drip off. Like, yeah, I was wait like, a wait, minute. No, right. but see, my mom was like, you need to be more patient with people because someone can breathe the wrong way. I'm like, you try me. You, uh-uh, you. Like, you got to go. <laughs> But Kevin is really what? That's cute. Yeah, that's my man. That's <laughs> so. Is this like your first like real relationship? Um, yes, this is my first real relationship. Okay, is this the first person you've brought home? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever brought anyone home under the pretense of friendship, but they were actually no. someone? Okay. I don't like to. I don't like to um show people my house and okay. all of that my people's I feel you I'm very uh, I'm open with my life but mm-hmm. behind me yeah people mm-hmm. barely know anything okay like, with my mom my brothers or anything so. okay so you keep that part private just yeah we, just, get, we cool but yeah yeah until you prove yourself yeah. yeah just because you know people when you meet your mama they feel like they can at home Facebook they feel like they oh. need to do this they feel like they need to be in a family when you cut them off uh uh-uh, uh delete everybody right now okay I just happen to be the person that nobody wants to cut off, though. Mm. I'm just saying. Uh uh-uh, uh, girl, you better Mom, stop that. Mom, keep me. Sister, keep me. Uh, brother, keep me. Cousin, me keep me. Everybody want to talk to me. Hit me up. Hey, how you doing? Happy birthday. Listen, I got happy What's Thanksgiving. Up? The all other of day. that. Like they daughters and shit done blocked me, but here yeah. they are. The mom still telling yeah. me happy birthday. All that. I but, wish my mom would. Yeah. Hey, I mean, I don't be. You know, well, thank you. My you mother's know, not friendly, period. She's a Capricorn also. I'm so friendly. she's No, but I'm saying, like, to that extent, like, she's not she with nice the shit. She's nice to me. Mama, oh. You're a Leo. She told... <laughs> y'all supposed to be like, you know... I love Leos. I got See? two best friends that's Leos. See? Capricorns and Leos. Yes. So yeah, we, we, she yeah. <laughs> she told me off rip because she knows my patience with people. Like, I be dropping people after two minutes. Mm-hmm. So she's like, don't bring nobody here. Because they're Cause not going to last. Person, that's why. That too. She knows. She's like, don't bring nobody here. Because that... Mm. No. <laughs> I just period. never used to do it, period, because why? Yeah. That's like, I never, I never had no interest. And if I, w- I wasn't bringing no boy home, Yeah, you were a whole beard. Like, that's <laughs> not. So, and I didn't want to be known as like a liar. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was already out here trying to make it seem like something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then to bring it in your face. Like, I had a best friend. I won't say his name. He don't deserve it. Oh. oh. Nope. I had a best friend. And I he can't used, say his and name he, either. You can say his name. He's a punk ass. He used to come over like, that was my best friend. Came mm-hmm. over for Thanksgiving, with my family, all of that. And my father used to be like, oh, I don't like your boyfriend because he don't come and like introduce himself. Like, who boyfriend? Oh, I was like, that's my best friend, not my boyfriend. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They never believed it for the longest really? time. Really? 
They really swore me. They thought maybe me they, and were, they thought me they and just were wanted together. wanted y'all to be together. They no. knew you wasn't fucking no in no relationship with no boy. You saw the tweet I tweeted the other day about how Caribbean parents will live in denial until it slaps them in the face. Oh, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, until they get hit in the face with yeah, it, it's nothing. Yeah. They will deny you down and be like, oh, no, they're not gay. They, they never said they were gay. They're not gay. And knowing they see you look like a whole grown man out here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're out here wearing boxer briefs and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Boys out here have whole, like, purses and shit. But no, he's not gay. He just, you know, he just, I'm just real clean. Yeah, I'm I, just, yeah, I can I see I mean, when pump. I introduce, like, my, like, girlfriend, <laughs> I want to say my last relationship was mm-hmm. probably the one that got the most, like, mm-hmm. exposure. Like, mm-hmm. she met everybody. everybody. Oh, okay. She you was know what in. I'm saying? From everybody. everybody. Like, she met Went the real, home. The real. And met Jenna like, Jenna. Like, her home. Like, she met everybody. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Real shit. Oh, this real deal. She was real. She was real deal. Right. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate that. So, yeah. So. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Drink my juice, y'all. Cha. I hate Janae. Anyways. Um, so, Tevin. <laughs> my chair's squeaking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. She can go over there being shady as hell. That's <laughs> why. Go ahead. Thanks. You're fine. Have you... It's an off-the-wall question. You ever dated a woman? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have dated a woman. Um, mm-hmm. Her name was Ashley. <laughs> but mm. she was my best friend and then we fell in something that should never have been so now we have no friendship at all oh. so mm. it sucks so but yeah I don't even want to talk about that it was a mess it was a foolishness mess um, yeah Ashley I love you but yeah you know what what happened I was gonna say like something just crept into my spirit just What's now up? like you know keep things platonic if they are supposed mm. to be platonic mm-hmm. And um, if y'all going to do the relationship, then do the relationship thing. But um, figure it out. Yeah. Okay, so I, don't know I, who I have to one question that. on this topic. Uh-huh. One question. She didn't know you were gay? She, <laughs> you sound like everybody around her. Like, oh, everybody was telling okay. her, he's so I already gay. know what happened. He's gay. She didn't care. She loved me that much. Love yeah. <laughs> yeah. She loved me that much that she said, I don't care what he is. <sighs> Which was foolish of her. We were young. We were in high school. It was a mess. I have an ex-boyfriend like that. And he's still like that. <laughs> Is Girl. that the one I met? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We were young. We were a mess. It was something that should not happen. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get that. So, mm, I heard you have, like, an, um, what's a nice word to say it? Let me just call it an obsession with Beyonce. Yeah. Listen. Mm. Beyonce. Oh, God. Oh, y'all don't like Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce is an example of a hardworking, someone that literally, like, came up and got it. From from her time she performs, like, she just, no one can beat Beyonce performing right now. <laughs> What? What? Oh my gosh! I can't wait till y'all see this video of how Cat is leaning back in Kat, his chair. Cat, Cat, what? What's going on? You don't like Beyonce? I've had enough. I've had enough. Listen, I had enough for everybody. My cup. But, no, listen. no, my cup has run it over. Oh, wh- why? Did, did you did, did you date a Beehive member or something? Yes. Oh, okay, listen. We don't play about Queen B. Queen B is everything. Listen, I go. This is the first time I haven't seen Beyonce in like on the run tour, but I have. I've made it in a Beyonce music well, I video. Went. I went. You're in a Beyonce music yes, video? Yes, made it in a Beyonce music video. Got her towel that she gives out, mm-hmm. framed, framed it up, mm-hmm. and everything. Absolutely love Beyonce. She's, she's when she get on the stage, she performs. She give it everything. <laughs> and that's it. I feel like this new era where her and Jay-Z got to go. Like uh, we need, we need, we need, we need Queen B back. That's singing. That's I mean, I get you want to be. We, mm-hmm. I get you want to be okay. Let's stay in formation. You know, we 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 doing the slave videos. So what stuff. you want? You want you want like I Beyonce, want, like jealous Beyonce. No, before that, I want B Day Beyonce. Oh, no. I want Deja Vu. I want Irreplaceable. I want on Hollywood. I want Upgrade You. But look at the play. Look at look at. Where she is now. Yeah, but... She can't be talking... Upgrade what? 
No, to no, her, no. she is no, no. the ultimate. I'm, you feel I'm, what I'm saying? No, I'm just saying the way she sounds. The way she music. sounds. Like I'm, I'm not with rapping Beyonce, trapping. But that Beyonce. go, but that goes with everything. It's so right? crap though. As she goes, oh lord. I, sorry, sorry. I love you for saying what? that. Because no, because I know people who will stand down. And will not be honest about Admit their fame. That she, right. Yeah. I, I, it's, thank when you. When they know she doesn't have, like, mm. come on, that's just not it. But mm-hmm. it's, but when she sings in concert, when you go to concert and she performed this new stuff and her old stuff, you can tell she has a voice. We need a voice. We need a voice in R&B. We need a female voice that sings. Like, these new girls, they try <laughs> to sing. I mean, like Rihanna. Okay, Somebody hold on. said Rihanna, love on the brain is... It's closest thing to Hold Whitney on. Houston. We Did got. you hit? Wait, don't look. What, don't what? don't come don't, for Riri. No, oh, listen. Look, I think Riri. Thing. First of all, I got a hugs. I got hugs by Riri. I, listen, I've been to almost every Rihanna concert. What we not going to do? Except, except the the tour when Chris Brown and all that was going on. Mm-hmm. It started with the loud tour, but absolutely love Rihanna. She's but, real. She's raw. But we, we also, need a voice. But we don't love Rihanna for her singing. We, yeah. we need to understand that because she's too. real. No, I love, love her. I love her for her music. Notice what I said. Singing. Oh, singing, singing. Listen, you heard what I said. But <laughs> but if if you're gonna pull Rihanna car, you need to pull Britney. You need to pull Madonna. You need to pull. Don't just pull Rihanna car because she can't sing. But These we other have girls to. Here, but we have to pull relevance though, because I'm not gonna go back then to pull Madonna. Look, look, look. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But but look at Madonna. Look at all Madonna has done. Right. What? Okay. But she all has. She, look. Everybody got these things. Like, Beyonce can sing-ish to some of y'all. Oh, girl, what you talk about? What you talk about ish? Uh-uh. Don't even play. Don't you know even what? play it. Because there's people out there that can sing way better than Beyonce. Yeah, it is. Blow it, Beyonce way that, out of here. That, that's true. And y'all don't stand these people. Who? Like who? Come on. I give credit about, when credit is you due. You talking about good, good singers, though. Like, oh, Jesus. all the Jays. First of all, like, Jasmine Sullivan and them type J- of Jasmine people. Sullivan is, she's in another league. Oh, oh, she's in another league, oh. but Beyonce At least is we're a clear. no. Beyonce is a superstar. Okay, a superstar right. meaning you, she's a performer. You, you, you can do it at all angles. Correct. You can act. You can sing. You can dance. You Whoa, can, hold on. Whoa. She could what? She could do what? Yeah, listen, she's not the. She, <laughs> she can listen, act. She's not the. <laughs> no, listen, she has acted. Li- yeah, but, <laughs> Appreciate that. But it's it's wor- It's people worse than her out there. That's good. But we talking about her. No, but so, I'm saying, but but no, no, no. We are talking about her. I don't think Beyonce as bad as people make her sing. In, in Let her me acting. tell you something. Because no. Cadillac Rex, she got better. Because what was that movie, Carmen? Yeah, but that was her first movie. That was her first. Now, now you can't hold her to Carmen. Listen, Car- now, but Carmen might have been but, the best thing she no, ever done. No, now put Carmen Th- that's to the Cadillac problem. Records. Cadillac Records. When she did Etta James, right? She killed yeah. that. People, I'm like, how can you deny this? Well, what did she kill? The singing parts. She killed the acting part in the singing parts. <laughs> What, what would you give it? her in Cadillac Records out of scale of one to ten? I would have preferred her in Dreamgirls over Cadillac no, no, Records. No, no, out of out of out of out of one to ten. What, what would you give her overall? Like a five, like a five. That's a lie. A five. That's a lie. A five. That's a lie. Dreamgirls, I'd give her a nine, nine and a half, easy. Yeah, What's Dream in this Girls? cup? Dreamgirls was Ray and nephew. Right. I'm trying to get. Don't even try to play me. Don't even try to play me. But I'm telling you, Dreamgirls was a way better performance for her. Than Cadillac Records. I'm sorry. I think Dream Girls was a bigger performance because of the movie itself. Like it was hyped up to be a blockbuster hit. Even though Cadillac Records as well, but Cadillac Records didn't do as well as Dream Girls because it had so much star power behind it. It had Eddie Murphy. It had mm-hmm. Jennifer Hudson, who they hyped up. For but let's n- but let's they not had- forget that um, Dream Girls was already something that came out before. Yeah, so understand it already that. had fans but, like Cheryl Lee Ralph and them. The yeah, old understand Girls. that. But Jennifer Hudson. Everyone was everyone wanted to see about this performance fresh that they hyped fresh up. Off American I, Idol yeah, and I want to see this performance because Jennifer Hudson. Liz, we, should we talk about up. voices again? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jennifer Hudson has an amazing mm-hmm. voice. So but, let's talk about singers. But, but you cannot take away from Beyonce because if you put Beyonce, if if you ever heard, have you ever heard Beyonce sing uh, Anita Baker? Yeah, what Anita Baker song? Which one? Sweet Love. Yes. Amazing. And then what happened? Amazing. And then what happened? She went into Dangerous Land Love again, to Sweet and Love. Once once again, nothing special. Nothing to blow. What no. you talking I'm about? Sorry. Nothing to make me be like, yeah, B. Listen, B, because you don't want to be like, yeah, B. No, Beyonce can be credit, like. No, don't do me. I, I give credit where credit is due on all artists. Even I did if this on I purpose. don't follow you, I give you credit. I like, trust me, I love some Beyonce songs. Like You'll what? even catch me like. Old stuff and new stuff, like Dangerously in Love, them types of songs, Jealous, like I said, Mine, all them types of songs. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Dance for You, Rocket. 
I love all that. You Even not, her new song. I love yet, ape shit. I like ape shit. I like that. That's about the only song I like on the album. When I went, look, when I went to the concert, I went this in August mm-hmm. when it was here. It was I had a good time. It wasn't for me. I don't, I don't like I don't like the on the run series what she's doing. Okay. Because I went to the on the run tour, the first tour. I didn't like it. I, went, I've been I to, believe either that or the one of those two. Yeah. I, I went, went to, to the Mrs. Well. Carter tour. I went to the Formation tour. I went to the um this is Carter to a formation tour. Sounds like money I don't have. But uh, ah! listen, I spend my money on Beyonce, and when I say I sit at the stage, if I ain't at the stage, I'm not going. Like I'm that of a fan. Like if you see my, if you see, I should have brought my Beyonce video so y'all can see. No, you shouldn't have. But it's, it's, yeah, it's, listen, no, no, they you got me, have. like no, it's perfect. I was going hard for her. She stopped and gave me her towel. She's like, and I was like, B, you my girl. You my girl. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Beyonce is she. She's because as a performer, she's my Michael Jackson. She's the your, your. she's the closest thing we got to Michael. Jackson. No, she's my, my no Michael Jackson is my Michael Jackson. Well, well I Don't didn't start I this. didn't I didn't live to I didn't live to I lived enough. No, I grabbed enough. No, I didn't live in the Michael Jackson era when I used to when when my parents used to say. What year you born? No, ninety two. A year after me. But, no, but listen. No, my parents said we sat in front of the TV and we was waiting for Thriller to drop and everyone was talking about Thriller and when Thriller album came out, everybody had they you know in a car they was playing it they was doing this they was doing it they was like if yo if you was there during that time you would have went crazy. That's the Michael Jackson I'm talking about. I'm not talking about when you growing up, you seeing your parents play Michael Jackson videos and you doing no, this. I'm no, talking I'm about talking about watching Thriller, watching Off the Wall come out, mm-hmm. seeing Michael at the Grammys, seeing him like mm-hmm. in happening right in front. That's the era I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So if you was born in ninety what one, not, if you was born in ninety one, it's no way mm-hmm. you remember Michael Jackson in his prime. No, because those were his prime days. Mm-hmm. So it's no way you can tell me that you appreciate him the way that other people appreciate him because you, you, you no, just I, get, I, I you think just I appreciate, I think I appreciate him even more cause I didn't have a chance to, and that wasn't my fault. So I dig deeper than everybody else. Cause I want everything that I wasn't able to get and that people can't give me. I'm, listen, I'm a hundred percent with you on that. But at the end of the day, the, the connection would never be as strong as if you're mm-hmm. waiting for a music video to drop mm-hmm. and Michael Jackson, you have never seen this. You have never heard this song before. Mm-hmm. The world mm-hmm. was watching Thriller. Mm-hmm. No mm-hmm. one would ever be Michael Jackson. Facts. But I'm saying Beyonce is the closest thing we got to entertainer, to someone that can put on a show. You, you, you Even have. someone that's seen Janet you Jackson. Have. Now you can put Janet mm-hmm. Jackson. The closest thing you have. Mm-mm. Okay, okay. Who's who's the closest? What artist would you say? Can none com- of them. I don't want compete. not one of them. I don't <laughs> no, want no, none of them. Can compete with Beyonce. <laughs> Right, that's living right now. That can that can compete with Beyonce. Cartel, I'm done. Oh. World boss, free world boss. I'm done. done. That's it. <laughs> All right, that's next it. next case. <laughs> next case. Listen, <laughs> on that subject, Cartel, Cartel and I'm has done. been locked up for one and still faithfully dropping Cartel music. And I'm done. Regular, good that's shit. It. Okay. That's well, it. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't know him. Okay. <laughs> but I, I know. I know the world is waiting on his own um, release. Mm-hmm. Release. But since world the, thing, the majority of the music I listen to is not American, so yeah. oh yeah, see, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about American history because this is American. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you're gonna have to talk about. This, because... I mean, Michael Jackson is American history. Yeah, that's but, American no, history. You know, it's funny you but say we that. Loved, but we love. My him. mom was she's in the same age range as Michael Jackson. Uh-huh. When I said she was like how I was about Little Bow Wow, she was not crazy. Bow. Listen, okay, Shad Gregory Moss, he used to <laughs> hold my heart, baby. Okay, who child? Mm-hmm. Mm warm but um she used to love michael jackson now like they're the same age or like probably mm-hmm. a year different my mom told me she went to a michael jackson concert mm-hmm. they broke the fence down this is in mm-hmm. jamaica now mm-hmm. and she said she being her young wild and free jumped the fence and run gone to the stage to go see him ended up didn't even realize she had a Cut scar herself. from her ankle all the way probably. to her thigh because yeah. she jumped the f- didn't feel it adrenaline pumping running to go see That's michael jackson and I feel like Beyonce. Sorry, oh, I'm God. going back. No, I feel like Beyonce <laughs> at the On a Run tour. She's pulling herself. Jay Z is pulling herself, making Beyonce because she don't perform how she used to. Sometimes she do it. But you think the, it's Jay Z or is it Jay- age and stature? No, it's Jay Z. No, 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 no. It's, Thank you because no, it's they make it seem like she ain't going age. No, no, that's go- not that, that's not what I'm saying. Even I'm not the music, saying- even the music has changed. I'm gonna go back to the music. Mm-hmm. She used to make 
Oh, put your freakum dress on and like. Well, and she looking no, 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 no. That, no. that the gays like. And but look everybody at, was like, yes. But look at life. Y'all bitches need to get married so y'all can relate to her look music. At life. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, funny. But, I love Jay Z down. Right, and I listened to Jay Z from back in the '90s. Jay Z, like I came to Brooklyn. I moved yeah. to Brooklyn when friggin' Jay Z was mm-hmm. in his mm-hmm. shit. Right, I'm getting, I'm not 40 or whatever, but as I'm getting older, <laughs> you know, what say it's like I, t- I hear people talk about it too, like Charlemagne and like other older people that mm-hmm. are into music talk about it. And it's like Jay Z makes pe- music for people his age. So people who grew up no, with Beyonce that I got, were I got to dis- 16, I got- 17, get no, names, no, no. you know, I oh disagree. my God, say my name. And then you know, as time progresses, then whatever, she's grow- her music is growing with her. I'm, I'm, I'm going to disagree on that Destiny because, child, no, I'm going to disagree on that because as a Beyonce fan, Mina and Destiny Child as well, um, Four, when mm-hmm. she put the album Four, it was amazing. It was horns. Four it was, was real good. instruments. Mm-hmm. It was a, wow. It sounded like she put her heart her soul into this album. Mm-hmm. Literally, the songs, the love songs she sung, the sassy songs she sung. It was her growing Which up. Which one was one plus one on? Four. Okay. It and was, Halo? It, Halo was on, on mm-hmm. I Am Sasha. Somebody, but somebody. But it was amazing. And we, we, we want that Anita Baker feel when people make you feel like you love and J- Jasmine Solomon. The fact that Beyonce gives y'all that is so nice. No, <laughs> no, the lyrics, the lyrics of a song, because one plus one is beautiful. Rocket beautiful. is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Now, when, when, now, Rocket will take you there. But Rocket, I don't know now, if Beyonce could ever give me Anita Baker vibe. Absolutely not, because Anita Baker is Anita Baker, and that's it. But I'm saying, who do we have that can give us Anita Baker vibes? If they would do what they're supposed to do and put music out? Who? People we haven't heard of probably. Nah, just some. Yeah, people we haven't heard of. We need some new people because even Jasmine Sullivan. I love Jasmine Sullivan, but her albums, no, no, okay. ab- absolutely no. Her singles, amazing. Them albums, I be falling asleep. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. and I tried to give Jasmine Sullivan um the, another shot a few weeks ago, but I was like, uh. Uh-uh. How you feel about LMA? That's my girl. Okay. Like that. Okay. That album. Okay. That album. Like. I liked it too. Right, <laughs> correct. Mm-hmm. And it told a story as you listening, and mm. it take you through that. I miss. I want. And I loved her outros, and she spoke. Yeah, yeah I love the one that. I I want Beyonce to give us something like that. They give- didn't. They didn't like that one track though that she had. Was it LMA? Like she rapped on it. Was it her that did that? It might have been the wrong person. Next, go ahead. Yeah, but I <laughs> yeah, like. I, I like. I like her a lot. I like LMA yeah. too. We've like been her. liking LMA from. You know, Listen. somebody just put me on her old stuff, so I'm getting yeah. I've been following her on Instagram. Listen, I've been following her on SoundCloud her since before she made it to Apple Music because really? I was trying to find her Apple Music. Like, Where is she this was bitch? my alarm, yeah. Like her three Instagram years ago, video, I recorded her Instagram video when she was singing, um, Chris Brown, Ayo, Ayo, Ayo. and I was like, no, her voice, yeah. so I like saved it and she woke me up that every, was my morning. every morning. Every morning, all you heard is her singing Ayo every morning. Until the, I saw one day that she got like picked up by people. I was like, yes. oh shit, like she's yeah. that album. That album is so good. A good and debut, it, I think. Yeah, and and I'm so mad that people it's not getting the, people because they weren't crap. And then a lot of people were mad off the whole um, Jacquees thing, Bruh. Please, I like him. I like. I don't think he's the best, but they need to get off of him. At least he's. I mean, he's trying to put out R and B music. Trey Songz ain't got them doing. It. I mean, he's just put out a mixtape. I was about to say he just he just put out a mixtape, but two. but no one was yeah. doing it before. I mean, who 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 we had? Chris Brown went but to does, rap. Does Jacquees really have range? <laughs> I'm or not does saying he, just he has e, like oh, all over the place. Not I'm not e. saying he has range, but I'm saying at least he's trying to make R and B music right. for like we the this man the man went down the man went down in R and B like yeah. Chris mm-hmm. Brown was our only hope, and then he went to rap. Oh wow! Then you, you spoke on another name that was never yeah, hope for she's, me. Yeah, well, hope in new R and B because Genuine ain't doing it, Tank ain't doing it, Avant ain't Who? doing it. I'm saying all these people. Not for these young folks. Yeah, I'm oh, saying no. now. Oh, I'm you saying, me, if you scared on, me. If you turn on you the radio, me, now, I was like, wait bro, a minute. If you turn on the radio now, we need to hear that real R and B love sound. People like, oh, people don't, don't want to hear that. Have yes, they do. It. They want to hear. It. They they want to hear. Yeah. It. We have. No, no, no. And if we have something that's R and B, it's not solid R and B. It's R and B and hip hop and there's rapping. Then there's a singer on there Mm -hmm. doing the harmonizing for the like nothing. Like they let I love Sam Smith. Like we love him. They let Mm -hmm. Sam Smith release one of the greatest albums I have ever heard. And I'm this album is amazing. Mm. Like, it's amazing. And literally, it took a no offense, but it took a white guy Mm. to Mm -hmm. release a 
kind of soul album mm-hmm. and give us feelings back. And I was like, whoa. And this guy have choirs in his background yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff that Mariah did in the in the nineties. Like mm. ooh, I'm stu- stuff, stuff. No, stuff, stuff. It's that, December too. No, I'm waiting for her to sing yes. on something. No, s- listen, I love Mariah, so we're not listen. gonna get started. No, on no, that. no, I love, no, we love Mariah down. Mariah. Like, but oh, as on. of late, honey. Icon. No, as no. First but. of all, Mariah is Mariah, but M- Mariah is not trying to compete with Beyonce. Correct. To, mm-hmm. Like somebody straight up because I got upset. But nobody stuff, is. I was like either. Mariah, what's what's going on? Mariah? Somebody was like, listen. What, what what these girls trying to do? Mariah did. Did it already. Correct. So Mariah, Mariah is releasing for her fans. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, yeah, if she, just yeah. change the channel. Yeah. Which Basically. I was like, damn. I never thought of that. Well, yeah, that song, get the fuck out. But <laughs> that's, who, that's how I think of all of them. Them older yeah. singers. Mm-hmm. They don't got nothing to prove. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't. Because she's doing it for us. That's it's it. different though. Like back then, there was a lot of singers at yes. the same Sangers. time. Yes. Sangers, girl. yeah, singers at the same time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they all prospered. Everybody was great. Now you don't got. Mm-hmm. The the females in the industry, you already know that's not. Yeah, that's not. That's, that's, not, that's not it. We don't have. <laughs> we don't have a lot of singers. Yeah. We don't. Period. We, I, I'm I'm honestly trying to think of anyone like right now other than LMA. Other I'm than like, people that pop up with they one single and yeah. then they're gone. And like, what what's her name? Oh God, the girl on TED. What's TED? TDE. What's her name? Oh my goodness, I can't remember her name. The girl that sing the weekend song that everybody's going crazy about. You talking about Sazah? Yeah. yeah. I don't like her. Is album. she R and B? Do we like her? I like her sing. I like the weekend. No, her. That. Like H E R. Oh yes, yes. I, I heard one. But song. I don't feel like she's mainstream enough though. That's what I'm saying. It's people that's like no. There's nobody really in the limelight that's getting attention like how back in the day because when we had. All those singers that were on BT and MTV and all of that because regularly. we had everybody because now band. we just want to hear a mess I'm, and do a train wreck. Who People, is we? But no, you remember I'm how I'm saying it was? the shade room only want to post Ugh. foolishness. They don't want to post quality people that actually want to do something. Shade they rather post room. these loving hip hop people. I think they gave it to you though. Shade room. Yeah, <laughs> they they posting these loving hip hop characters. I'm like, we don't want to see the. I, I'm well, like, who are these people? Well, I watch Love Hip Hop. But. Well, I know, but I don't want to. I mean, you don't want to like stop see. making them famous. I mean, when when you can promote someone that's trying to do their music versus someone that's throwing a drink in somebody's face, like, come on. Not on Shade yeah. Room. Shade yeah. Room is horrible. No, no Shade Room dudes, do who they they promote who they want to promote. Who they want to? Yeah. yeah. Mm. They promote Future. They promote Meat Mill. They promote all these people. They that's. Well, I mean, oh, I'm about to get real deep. So. Mm. You can go there. We mm. don't care. It, it is okay. No, I'm just saying. I'm just sick of the music that black communities are promoting. Yeah. The violence. Yeah. The this. The this. The I got this in my trunk. I got this. 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 Just like this boy. What's his name? Um. Don't Takashi? ask me. Takashi. Child Shore. Six nine. Yeah, Takashi six nine. I mean, only know one song from him, and that's uh, that song with Nicki Minaj. Mm-mm, mm-mm, How does that mm-mm, one go? Um. I'm from Berlin. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Kiki. Cool. Kiki, 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 Kiki. 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 But, uh, Got okay. that Kiki. Got that, yes. Got that wet, wet. Got sure. that super soaker. Yeah. Hey, but, it's, but, it bangs, though. Yeah. When you in that setting. But yes. after you listen to it, you like, what the but fuck I'm like, singing? But I'm like, Nikki, you can do so much for the community. Even though you you give back and you do all of this, what you feed in into our community, and they need to stop. This drugs. Oh. I'm tired of hearing about drugs. On the radio, that's all you hear about. Drugs. Guns, violence. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna put on Hot 105 because um, <laughs> you listen to your oldies. Yes. <laughs> but no, and it's you say that, but they were talking about this back then too. But like we we're saying, there was also other avenues that they were singing about. They were, we had R and B and all that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were still rapping about because, like I said, Jay Z he was talking about you know being on the block and all that yeah. fun stuff. And there was Tupac and Biggie and all that great stuff that was going on. And we had a variety of music going on at the same time. Now it's literally just that. And it's like, that. That's yeah. why I, there's no love said, in it. There's no love in this no era. Love. There's no love in this era. Done. Yeah, and it's pathetic. That's what I'm saying. Like None. you talk about American music now, and I'm just like, huh? What? I, I listen to strictly. but that's we have the same issues with mm-hmm. Caribbean music as well. Oh, yeah. I, well, I want to say not all Caribbean music because mm-hmm. soca is happy, happy music. music. I yeah. love soca music. I, it makes I'm you sure. it just it's make so, you want to dance and yes. just drink and have a good time. Dancehall, mm. mm. we already know the violence and yeah. the, all of that, but it is what it is. Like mm-hmm. it is what it is. I can't even. I don't even have yeah. time to. 
Yeah. It was funny you said that. I, made, I did a poll <laughs> on Instagram about, you know, Free Bougie because he's supposed to be coming out, what, end of this week or yeah, something? So, uh, look, and I'm probably one of those Jamaicans. I, I just don't really. <laughs> what, what was that, Kat? What, Kat? Let Phil? me tell y'all huh? something. Let me tell you how Uh-oh. I feel about y'all precious Bougie. Mm-hmm. I believe if you do the crime, you should do the time. Hallelujah. Period, point blank. He did it. I'm glad he did what he had to do, and now he's coming out. Mm-hmm. Bless up. But... I was not with y'all talking about free budget, free budget. But no, you did the crime, you did the crime. So you know what I'm free world boss? Did he do the crime? <laughs> really? 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 You don't believe cartel- They got they got Bojo on camera, so what's oh, up? Oh shit. They ain't got cartel on camera. And plus they said the text message Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're trying to throw his case out. They say he coming out next year, no true. Free or world boss. So? Period. <laughs> Bojo free but Period. I like Yeah, but I just hope he don't come out and be problematic. That's it. Yeah. Because that's, that's what they normally do, that's honestly. Because mm-hmm. I can already see yeah. it. Yeah. Because okay. him and Rihanna's supposedly rumored to have a song coming out on her new album. So. Oh, yeah, because she's supposed to be doing a dance song. Widow, album yeah. Bojo and Rihanna. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, mm. what's your favorite place to travel to? <laughs> oh, India. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. India, point blank. A point blank, period. How many places have you been? Oh, so many places. Um, oh my god. Give me like a like a number, like a close of I don't I don't even know. Man. I don't even know. Must be nice. The life. I don't I don't even know. So many, so many places. I could have sworn this girl. It is was on the same Do Not Disturb, but it's one person. To put our phones on vibrate. Uh, yeah, okay, I first of all, I just wanted to make sure. First of all, it's on Do Not Disturb. There's one person who has their own ringtone that plays no matter what. Okay, my bad. That's so okay cute. or whatever. My bad. Um, <laughs> shit. I could bleep that out. <laughs> Anyways, let me get back into your business. We done had fun talking about the entertainment industry and all this other um stuff. A topic that's been coming up a lot lately, right? What happened? What happened? You know me in these text messages. Go ahead. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. But <laughs> topic that's been coming up a lot lately. Bisexual men. Okay. <laughs> Wait, bisexual men? Yes, bisexual men. Okay. Would you ever date a bisexual man? If you were single. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because if they're bisexual, they're gay. I feel like if you have to say you're bisexual, that means you are, you clearly, you want something. So I feel like, and the most bisexual men that I know sleep with mostly men. Do you think that's a preference or they take what they can get kind of thing? Um, They take what they can get and they're okay. greedy and they're, they just want to have their kick and eat it too. You don't think men being bisexual is a real thing? Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. I said if if you like if oh. you're attracted to a man, that's it. You can only, listen. Because <laughs> a man and a woman a man and a woman is two, two different, different things. things. If you like a man, you like a man. Because it's nothing that I don't like breasts. I don't like I don't I don't I don't like it. Like I just don't like it. Because it's it's just because a man a man has a chest. Chest, and it's, right. And, and that's what you like. Yeah, that's what masculine I like yeah, a man. Yeah, yeah, so I'm like, true. okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So and if you ever look at a man like that as another man, mm-hmm. hard to come back and get You and ain't look looking at, at no girl, so stop <laughs> it. I see I see what you're saying, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I, stop it. It's stop trying to stop trying to Impress everybody else. That's it's no, interesting. It's not bisexual men. It's men are like. So there's it. bisexual women though. Or you just don't believe in being bisexual. Probably? I don't believe in bisexual. I don't oh, believe in bisexual. Okay, I, there I, go. I, I don't <laughs> think. I feel like you, you, you there go. you're gay, or you're straight, or you just call yourself bisexual because you don't want to identify. Or that, or that as well, or huh. that as well. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh-oh, did I suck on some toes? No, not my toes, honey. My toes are oh. all L's, honey. All L's. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just saying I don't I don't I don't believe in bisexual. I don't believe in bisexual. I just feel like at the end of the day, you have a preference. Mm-hmm. You know what you want. Mm. You're gonna get what you want. Period. Huh. So so what if they know that they want men and women? No, right. impossible. Oh. Okay. Impossible. Huh. You is either you want the or you want the, the the burger or the hot dog. Yeah, period. Or or at the end of the day, you. at the end of the day, it's a choice. Like it's a decision. Not a, it's it's a decision. I think you're the first. Like I've never sat with like a gay man and had a and and heard him say, you know, that he doesn't believe in bisexuality. I, I just don't, and a lot of men do. It's interesting. I, a lot of men believe, and I'm like, bro, 
Mm-mm. I'm not. You're gay. <laughs> if you sleep with men, you're gay. That's it. A lot of stop, and a lot stop. of people believe that. Yeah, like stop. they're like point blank. Don't. Chick said that on the last episode. That's what yeah. people believe. Like once a guy, like he don't. Says, once they sleep with another guy, that's it. Don't make it hard for the that's world. Interesting, you, but it's you interesting. Your it's coming from his side. Yeah, because I. Yes. It's mostly straight people straight that say people that. that say that. They're like, no, once you go to say you're done. Mm-hmm. That's it. So I, to hear you say it is like. I mean, I feel like people make the experiment, mm. but it's an age with you experiment, and it's how far you will go for experiment. Hmm. For example, if you do a certain age you experiment because I feel like it's a certain age what you know what you want. You 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 know what you want. So but, either, but if you're you experimenting, but you if mean you're living it out. Yeah, if you're experimenting okay. at a at an older age, you made your mind up what you want. You okay. made your mind up. You already knew, but now yeah. you decided to do it. You already knew, it. but you about to put it into action. But if you're experiment at a young, I wish I had the bells, bing bing, because you know, oh, we should have set up a soundboard. If, <laughs> if you're experiment at a younger age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, we get too old for experiments. Like, I need to know what you like immediately. I like human beings. Okay, yeah. Raven Simone. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I like know. personalities. I don't, even, I don't even know if that's a good, like, example to even... That's it. I love Raven, so that was li- a compliment. Yep. That was a compliment. I've loved Raven since yeah. Raven had... Since Raven was... <laughs> yeah. Her and I've always yeah. loved That's her. my girl. I've loved her since then, even before she wasn't out... I already knew. Girl. I smelled her. <laughs> yeah. I did. Really? Yes. And you know, I love Raven. Like, I have I a, a Raven book with all her... It's a mess. Since, like, yeah. coming up? Yeah, since that's a Raven. Like yeah. That's oh. a Raven? Or I was going to say, not like Cosby Show? <laughs> no, Trudy. well, I, I didn't know she was going to be... The Cosby Show really didn't sit well with me. I mean, I didn't watch it as much. But when That's a Raven came out, my auntie was like, that's Raven Simone. Right. I was like, huh? Mm. She's like... That's a girl from the Cosby Show, and right. then Olivia. yeah, and then they brought me the the DVDs, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my god, that's Raven. Man, like, she, she her little rap, like, her little rapping yes. video she oh had back god. in the day. Oh my god, little girls I made up. Then I started going back and watching everything. Raven. Literally, oh I was the god. Raven Ultimate fan. Mm-hmm. Like, but yeah, I did not know I was gonna talk about Raven today. Let me tell you, <laughs> how did you get me there? <laughs> yeah, that was not scheduled. <laughs> I'm still stuck on this bisexual thing. Yeah, are you, do you identify as bisexual? A bisexual? Because it makes it easier for people, yeah. That makes it easier? For so people, what do you identify as? I like people. So <laughs> That's it. I like people. I'm attracted to cis people. I like trans people. I like personality. Wait, like, wait, I, excuse me. Hold on. Best friend. Uh-oh. You di- I've told you about my crush on trans men You're before. into trans. Trans men? Yeah. Well, oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. I don't judge. But, I'm no. just, <laughs> but I've okay, but see, I get it. But I've like trans women. I find I can find them attractive. Yeah, and even be like, ooh. But I don't know when if, it gets to sex. I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. But I can find I've trans women. Yeah, be like, you know. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, child, yes, but yeah, beautiful, yeah. like all of that. But I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Like, you know, yeah. 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 My um, mind is gonna start getting. So you're not doing trans. I'm gonna start at all. doing like <laughs> equations in my head and stuff. And like how we gonna much. do this? Yeah, thinking too much uh, about stuff I shouldn't think about. You know what I mean? Yeah. That topic is trans is just a touchy topic for mm-hmm. you. Why? Very touchy. Talk. Of, I just feel come like, on, speak. Don't. Why are we making this difficult? Like, <laughs> you are what you are. Like, Ooh, well, I know I'm about to get a lot of slack for this. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all know I do. But you are what you are. And you don't believe people can have like. Gender identity issues. No, gender my ass. I listen. This is what I think. Gender identity issues that they call it. You like what gender identity? You identify as a girl and you're a guy. Mm-hmm. Like you're born a male and you. Absolutely not. That means you're gay. You just you just like girl shit. Why why can't you be a man that just like girl stuff? You can dress up as a woman. You can be a gay man that that be a cross dresser. See, I'm not trans, so I can't. No, okay, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to be around more trans people to know, but I ho- hopefully people don't call me ignorant for this. I'm not trans, but but, but I know that when I look in the mirror, sometimes I don't always see a girl. Yeah, I mean, I know that. Really. Mm-hmm. Really. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that about me. She knows this. Yeah, she's a grown ass man. I always say a it. lot of times I look in the mirror, I don't see a girl, but I wouldn't consider myself trans. Yeah. I, so yeah. That's just me being. I just feel like you are what you are, and it's it's the way you're supposed to be. Like, it's okay if you you huh? You, it's no, it's a, it's a way. 
It's a way that you're Hold supposed on. to be. Mean it. Wait. If you're a boy that identify if you want to be a girl, dress up. Ooh. But be a boy. The way you're supposed to be. So what does that mean? Oh, boy. I feel like if you got a penis, you're a boy. If you got a vagina, you're a girl. So that means that your penis should be going into vaginas the way they no. should be. No, no. I just that's feel the like, way it's no, supposed that, to that, be. No, that, that, that's, not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you can be a gay man with a, a penis. You don't, have to, you don't have to say I identify with... I'm a man, but... Since I like dick, I, I identify um, with a girl. Because, no. Just like I straight up tell people, I, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a man. You said that real, like, <laughs> bitch, in case you didn't know. I mean, I mean that, that's just it. Like, I'm a man that like men. Mm -hmm. You're a girl that like girls. Okay. Or you're a girl that like men in <laughs> or however you want to do it. But you don't got to change your whole. Come on now. Okay. Come on. Okay. But suppose that's what you see. Like that's who you are. Like you wake up and you like you wake up in the morning and you never feel like this is not my body. I feel like an alien. Like in this this I feel uncomfortable. This is not how I see myself. Then you dress up how you want to see yourself. But what, but it's not always outer, you get what I'm saying? It's the inner okay, part. The inner, part. The okay, inner part. That's the Okay, the inner part. I can't speak on the inner part because I I don't know. But you never felt you, like a woman? But I never felt like a woman. But this is why you had a lot of studs that recently came out as trends. trends yeah. They try to dress it up and put the clothes on and put the mm -hmm. male clothes on, but, but on the inside, it's yeah. still messed up. Like, I still have breasts. I want yeah. facial hair. I don't it's more want than the vagina. vagina. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People really going through real turmoil. I feel you. I feel you. I get you what don't you're know, saying. So it's just yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. Yeah. I, I'm not around trends. I hear, I see, I hear it on this, mm -hmm. on social media, on the, on TV. Mm -hmm. Of course. So... But I've never actually been around a trans person yeah, that I know it's, of. It's it's a lot deeper than just dressing up. Because when you take off the clothes, you're still seeing the anatomy of that gender that and you, you don't, have to deal with. It. Yeah, that you don't necessarily identify as. You know what I'm saying? It's like one day you wake up and you're like, I don't like my hair today. I don't I don't identify with my hair being like this. I want to be blonde for, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I identify with blondes. And you decide you want to change that. You know what I'm saying? That's I look at it like that because I'm one of people like I'm really connected to my hair. Mm -hmm. Like I have child. Three out of seven days I don't want my chest on my body. Really? So take so, it away. <laughs> so you really feel like people can change their gender? Gender? I feel like if you I like okay, there's a difference between someone who like myself, like I all day long say I'm a grown ass man. Me personally, because uh -huh. once in a while I do have my days because I grew up with men like my father raised me for the early part of my mm -hmm. life i had my brother most of my friends were guys have always been mostly guys that i'm around and i don't identify with all the feminine shit that women do like it's only like the past few years that i've you know fine i'll wear heels i put on a skirt mm -hmm. i wear a dress like i i remember mm -hmm. getting beaten for not wanting to wear dresses when i was a little girl like real shit you know what i'm saying so I sometimes I have my moment like when I've been dating girls I'm like doc I wish I had a dick like yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying but me every day <laughs> but I've <laughs> every day first of all they're awesome by the way <laughs> I've never <laughs> like <laughs> but on the flip side like me like you know as growing into myself like I've grown to love like my shape and like my boobs and like stuff mm -hmm. like that I'm just like ooh titties yay I could put on a cleavage show and shirt and you know all that good and stuff and my friend but, is fine y'all <laughs> so like yes. I have my moments but I can understand how someone could honestly like look at themselves and be like this doesn't this. yeah this isn't me you I know what I'm it. saying wow maybe yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stay around some more trans people to yeah, I feel like it's one of those things, though. You have to be around it to really understand because I can sit here and talk to you about it, but I don't know the full depth of someone who just honestly every day. And a lot of things, like how you said, from first grade you knew that you were gay. Mm -hmm. They know from even before that that I shouldn't be this gender. So mm -hmm. it's something that they yeah. live with for years. And you I'm going to look up some documentaries tonight. Yeah, right? oh, you talking about yeah. acting. They really, really, really act. Yeah. Like, they're acting as a whole other gender mm -hmm. when so, certain things don't even... Mm -hmm. So do you feel like you can change your um how can um like who you are for example not mm -hmm. you don't you don't identify as a black person? I feel like the difference between gender and race is race you're born into. You're not born into gender. Gender is chemical. Like it's something that happens during sex between the egg oh, okay, and the okay, semen okay. forming. 
race Uh-oh. is ingrained. That is history in history because you can't say, oh, I'm going to have a daughter. I'm going to have a son. That's not something you just know. But my child is going to be black Don't. unless they have like skin pigmentation issue. But at the same time, Don't they're still bring black. your black ass to me <laughs> talking about you white. Like, really? I don't have no time for none of that. Move. No, no, I don't, I don't believe in that. But a lot of people always ask me, um, do you do you think you're Indian? Because really? yes, because I'm around on the ship. I'm around all Indians. Mm-hmm. Like all my friends. I mean, I'm, I'm a piece of everyone because I have to be that way. But literally, when I go, I only I only hang around Indians. And people always see me around Indians, and they're like, "Tevin, do you think you're Indian?" Indian. I'm like, "Hell no!" I'm you know, I was gonna say he hell. Indian by penetration, right? Yeah. There you go, you Indian by penetration. Yes, and and people, I'm like, That's "No, it. I'm black as hell." But it's some people. <laughs> It's some people that I hear that I seen that was like, no, I don't identify as a as a white woman. I identify as a black woman. I no, ma'am, you don't. No, ma'am. No, <laughs> no, ma'am, you do not. No, you you like. Yeah. You, you probably you you like it. You like what you know black women do and and stuff like How that. We but you're not. Okay, you okay. you cannot. You can always share in the things that we do and like what but we you like. But you will never. But you will never. You don't know the struggle when we walk down the street. You don't have the same mm. struggle as me. People don't react to me the, the way they react true. to you that's very true you better move no yeah. that's very no, true no ma'am no yeah. yeah that's what I just wanted yeah I'm petty I agree get a white bl- man got in my Uber the black other night. ass away from me <laughs> 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 a white man got in my Uber the other night and I was like I clutched my purse I was like I don't know what you are gonna do y'all wanna clutch purses that when you see black people bitch I don't know what you that about to do that happened to me the other day at Mm-mm. work and I work in like Aventura mm-hmm. and I was walking and the lady oh. she like this little white lady like snatch her bag and I'm like Bitch, <laughs> like I'm more scared of you than you are of me. Period. I promise you. Uh, I someone, promise you. Someone tweeted the other day that they feel offended when people do that because you really think you holding your purse is gonna stop me? Are you stronger <laughs> than me? <laughs> I was like, y'all are so ignorant, but dead ass though. That's like, so true. Like, if you think if somebody really want to snatch your purse, you with your little frail hand is gonna grab it. And- her little lame Bryant bag. Like <laughs> these people, get out of here. Like you got that from DSW on the sale rack for the bag. Like, mm. don't even play with me. I'm, I'm telling you. Me. Don't even play with me. But no, the conversation of race is coming up a lot also because people like, what's her name? Martina Big and like all those other people. That's, what's her name? The other white one that wanted to be black. Yeah, um, I forgot her name. Um, so, the nah, doll is all. That girl. Yeah. Rachel. Rachel. Yeah, yes. Rachel. You know what I'm saying? Saying she's transracial and all this. And you can't be born into another culture's struggle. Yeah. No matter how hard. But she was fighting for the cause. Yeah. She, she was, was down for us. But mm-hmm. the she thing was down. about it. She said, bitch, I'm going to war with them. I listen, said, she could have been white and still did it. It would have meant more if she did it as a white person. Exactly. Bam. Because. Bam. Yes. Like you said earlier about using your platform, mm-hmm. they will quicker listen to a white woman than they would to any, either yep. one of us. So use your platform because you'll get a bigger platform as a white woman than then, a black woman yep. trying to fight from within. Like, no, girl, you they gonna listen to you. Yep, that's very true. So what what are you trying to do with these fucking weave braids and whatever the hell you... <laughs> child. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like people said she made a mockery. She went about it the wrong way. In my opinion, I, I don't know. Say she, mockery. Yeah, I wouldn't say mockery, but she, she was doing a lot, <laughs> like for the whole physical appearance and everything yeah, else, like the whole lifestyle that she created and everything. Like that was that was a bit much. If you wanted to fight for the people, you can go out and fight for the people. Just and, be yourself as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, you're like, right. We would we definitely would have respect her ten times more. Yeah, like that's that's weird, but. Mm, mm. I'm still tripping on people thinking you Indian, like thinking no. you think you're Indian. Yeah, I had to remind them. Uh, uh-uh, uh, listen. It's a lot of Indian people on the boat with you? Probably 80%. Really? Like the staff? Yeah. Indian, Filipino. Mm-hmm. From Indian. actually Filipino. India or for just like other countries actually that have Indian? India. Oh. Yeah. Actually, Do like you guys, straight Indian. Is that one of the spots that you stopped at? Um, on your Royal actually, no, not with Carnival, but Royal actually have a spot that they stop in. Oh, well. you happy? But I don't go. I don't get to go. Of course. But, um... <laughs> Soon, soon. I, I mean, I'm just start. I didn't even start yet. Yet tomorrow I'll start. So you gonna work your way around. Yeah, there. exactly. But I get there. So when you start, do you like immediately go when you immediately. sail? Yeah, they ready tomorrow. So you sail I, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be ready on on the boat, ready, learning, doing everything. You dock from Miami or for a lot of days? Miami. Miami. Yeah. Oh, so you man. leaving tomorrow? To go leaving. Tomorrow? Yeah, that's why I had to squeeze it. Why, when do going? I do a show on Sunday? I'm going on a ship tomorrow. Hell. You, you packed got a already? Big bag. I'm packed. I'm not that big. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. I, will I just got to get myself songs. into your bag. It's not an yeah, issue. Girl. <laughs> but I, girl, it's hard work. But it's okay. I'm ready. I'm excited. Woo! Hot.
How long are you at sea? Six I'm months. Say. Six months, but this time I probably will do like nine months because I'm trying to have a vacation with someone else and they have a longer contract. Okay. So we're trying to vacation together. So mm-hmm. nine go months, to Thailand. and then how long is your vacation? I'm like, how long you want until you, if you reach six months, you got to reapply. So it's how long you want. Oh. You can go five five months. And is it like you have like an army, how you reenlist? Kind of no. Thing? Hold on. So you Are they know paying you for these five okay. months? No, they don't pay. Oh, I was about well, to say. Well, you accumulate your money because mm-hmm. you don't pay for anything. Right. Yeah. Right. Huh. This kind of threw my little balance off because I was staying in India for six weeks. So I was supposed to be back on the ship in eight weeks. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen like that. So I budgeted very terribly mm. for my... You plan to go back to work. Yeah. I plan to go back to work. So I was living like a like king you, over yeah. there. I'm like, get, I ain't asked for no price. Just give it to me. <laughs> yeah. What's like, the price tag? Yeah, stuff like that. But now I'm like, oh, listen. You got some bread and water? I'm like, listen. You got somebody, some bread and water? I'm like, if somebody don't get me on the ship and like fast, I know no, something. You're stupid. That's, I mean, you living though. You yeah, living. exactly. You living. It's an experience you got to talk about. So. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's amazing though. Like at the end of the day, thinking about that, like in retrospect, like you got down to wherever you got down to, oh. and now you start tomorrow. Didn't you? Wait a minute. When did you post that you got the job? Like a couple of days ago. I posted a couple of days ago. That I got the job. And your bags are packed. Bags are packed. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm not a pack last minute packer. Like. Oh, I'm that's like, me. I slowly pack <laughs> here and there. Because <laughs> I, stuff like this come up and I want to do it. If I wasn't packed, I wouldn't even dare to even try to do this. Because mm-hmm. when you try to do that, you you forget this. How many bags you got? Three. And I normally have one. But this is a new ship mm-hmm. now, so I want to make sure I got everything. I want to make sure I got this. So, yeah. Are you in, like, formal wear all the time at um, work? No, at night. After 6 o'clock, you're in formal wear. I like to wear a suit because I'm black and <laughs> you got to be that much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, child, black man in America speech. Don't start yeah. it. Yeah, but I just I just always try to be in a suit mm-hmm. every chance. Like, just because mm-hmm. they're yeah. like, oh, you're yeah. in high position. Oh. Yeah. We Taylor? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ta- Taylor, listen, Taylor, I went to India and got some Taylor suits. $100 <laughs> a suit. What? Amazing. And amazing. And that was a hundred. And that was expensive. That's the full thing. Hmm. Amazing. And I got a lot of Indian entire inspired suits as well, so I'm gonna knock them dead. You just made me so happy because I'm just like you really out here just living like. I'm trying, child. <laughs> this I'm is trying. this is but I'm, this is a cruise ship you wanted to go on. This is yeah. This is it. This is it. And they offered me the job on the anniversary of when I first went on the ship. Mm. So this means a lot. This Space. is it. This is it. Like this is it. Michael Jackson. <laughs> don't, even, don't even go there. Don't even do me. Don't even. <laughs> okay. So before we started recording, you mentioned that you met Dalton. Yes. Shout out to Dalton. Dalton Harris. Big up yourself, Dalton. Well, how did that happen? How did you meet? Dalton him? worked on a cruise ship with me. What? Give me the two. Yes. Dalton worked. You didn't know Dalton worked on a cruise Listen, ship. I I've been in a bubble. Dalton worked on a cruise ship, which I never hear him talk about. Mm-hmm. He never. I never. He worked on a cruise ship, not for long, but he worked mm-hmm. there. Um, we did it six months together on Imagination, and we uh-huh. we literally had some great times, amazing times. Like Dalton is a sweetheart from just the moment the moment you meet him, he's real. He straight mm-hmm. up tell you like. I'm not with gossiping. I'm not with this. I'm not. So if you with that, get away from the table. Like, mm-hmm. he, this is Dalton. Introduction to people. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember him, his first time, he's walking in. The, we call it a mess, the cafeteria. And he sits and he sits down with me at the table. Like, I'm sitting right here. He sits down with me. I'm the loud one all the time. Mm. So um, <laughs> Dalton, I'm like, oh, hey, are y'all part of the new band? He's like, yeah, whatever, whatever. But he's, like, giving me, like, one-worded responses. Because uh-huh. he's very close off. Like, he don't want to. Yeah. He's very protective of mm-hmm. his heart yeah he doesn't let anybody in and talk mm-hmm. to him so like he literally i literally had to like fight my way into mm-hmm. dalton to say dalton please like i'm i'm your friend like, i'm trying to be your friend so <laughs> um ever since that we hit it off like he was friends with my other friend chloe she went to x factor to see him to surprise him okay. yeah and dalton is amazing like the way he performed like, was he singing on the ship? Like, yeah, when he was singing. Course? He was jump, like, but he was jumping off stages, doing splits. Mm-hmm. Like this man was performing. Like I was like Dalton, eat the people up, Dalton. Like, it, like, and he literally jumping off the stage into splits and just singing and wow. And he taught all his like he always say he taught himself. He never had vocal classes. Mm. Did everything. 
That's so how do you feel like seeing that he won X Factor? Dalton, um, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um, he unfollowed me on Instagram, which I didn't take it to the heart mm-hmm. because we still talk mm-hmm. in our chats. We still talk okay. in our chats. But he unfollowed me, I guess, because your numbers shouldn't be so high and all of that, you know, following a certain amount. He only followed 98 people now. Went down from thousands of people to only 98 people. Mm-hmm. Select mm-hmm. the people. And they're celebrities, Simon, this, people, mm-hmm. that even, so so I was like, okay. Even a girl that met up with him, he have, he is not following her. He unfollowed her as well. But we we were very close. We were like closer than close. Mm-hmm. We were close. Mm-hmm. And it was just a little group of us at the time. But I always told him, Dalton, you don't belong here. Mm-hmm. I was like, you your your voice is something is so good. Have you ever heard him live? No, not live. Like amazing. Like X Factor does they I feel like X Factor is um just one step yeah, but he's he could do. he's mm-hmm. wow watching him i'm like dalton you do not belong on this cruise ship and he did music in his room he used to have his things set up like mm-hmm. his whole cabin was like mm-hmm. so him and my friend mike they did like a whole cd and mm-hmm. it, just amazing dalton that's great mm. That's a small world because we Very came, small. We were talking about this before we came in here. We're talking about him being on X Factor and you know being Jamaican, all this fun stuff. And then all the so stuff like, that happened with the yeah. picture and Jamaicans, people. It's- so, yeah, the picture, the picture thing. I, <laughs> the picture thing. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like at all. Mm-hmm. I didn't like. It was just a picture. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was. It was just a picture. Right. That's yeah. It. No, I understand. And I felt so hurt that, but. Yeah, I can't say much cause no, I don't, no, no. because I don't know. Of but, course, yeah. of course. I, I, but um, we understand you. He always told me, right? He wishes his people can be more open. Mm-hmm. Of course. And he wishes like Jamaican people can Ooh. be more accepting. Yeah. And, and, I mean, here we are. Yeah, he <laughs> he, but he's he wants peace. He wants yeah. love. He's an amazing guy. I love that man. Don't, yeah. I can't. I I can believe he can. I believe he, um, can win. I was trying to see if I could pull up a message that I sent him weeks ago. And they're saying, like, get ready because you're about to win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I straight up, t- I said, Dalton, you are about to win this. Mm-hmm. And I think it was week three in x Factor. <laughs> I said, it's no competition. Mm-hmm. They can't see you, Dalton. <laughs> like, you on another level. And now he got a stylist. Now he got this. Yes. And now he's dressed. Mm-hmm. I seen, like, he had these um, Michael Jackson pants. <laughs> Tonight with like with the, <laughs> he's no, so petty. He no, no, yes. he, had, he, he had like. Did, did you see him? He I know you talking about with the zipper, with, with the, the mm-hmm. like the Michael Jackson yeah. bad pants. Yeah, I'm like Dalton. Mm. Okay, but <laughs> Dalton, Dalton will forever have a special place in my heart as well because he's just he's that amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on the subjects of the ignorance that was surrounding the picture, we talked a lot about that as far as. You can't be comfortable as a man, like being Jamaican or in Jamaica or anything like that. You can't be comfortable with a man enough to hug them. Shake their hands, yeah. for Christ's sake. Without there being any kind of speculation about your sexuality. Two man you know? can't shake hands. But yeah. he was hurt. Two man can't I'm sure, hug. I'm sure like, he was, he but I'm sure he was, but I'm also sure that he was not surprised. I don't no, think he no, was surprised. No, not at all. He was not surprised at all. I can tell. I mean, I didn't talk... All the messages we sent back and forth, he never responded back mm-hmm. to that subject. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he just always left it alone. Which, I, yeah. which, if you know Dalton, Dalton hates confrontation. Okay. Mm-hmm. He always just want to bring everybody together. Mm-hmm. And then when he posted that video, did you see the video of him? Yeah, him and the, yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it with the guy, and then the guy came into the video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. So. Mm-hmm. I didn't get to yeah, see he that. and you, I can tell. I'm and like, he was speaking. Yeah. And basically. I'm like, he's hurt. Yeah. But that's my boo. I love Dalton. Because imagine having your people. Like, yeah, like, they kill me. And the Jamaicans was literally giving it to them. You know what yes. kills me about it? Because, yes. all right, once you're doing something and you're going good, they want to be behind you 100%. Yeah. Jamaica this, Jamaica this, go, go, mm-hmm. go. We behind Look you, at behind us. you, behind you, yo, boom. But as soon as something, Look you do something, different. you do something that they don't like or something they're not used to seeing. Or, or something s- they're not sure of. Of something they're not sure of, they turn on you like this. Yeah. Yep. Yo, I and don't it's know. crazy. I don't know. Yeah, 
I don't know if it's just us though. But we talking about us. I feel like a lot of Caribbean people in no, general. No, but we talking though. about Dalton. Yeah, but Jamaicans, we we a different breed of ignorant. As but a you whole. know what? That's another reason why I um was scared to even say that I'm gay around JBN mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. because he's he's Jamaican. Yeah, he's Jamaican. <laughs> and you never know. Yeah. And then I, mm-hmm. Like beat me behind my head. You never know yeah. what. Yeah. Because who's... I was tortured as a kid by a Jamaican man. Oh God. In school, fighting me, punching me in my face. Like, just because I was that boy. So. And this is before you even came out. Before and- I even came out. But j Man was so, like, he didn't he didn't give a damn. Like. This. <laughs> literally, punching me in my face, spitting on me. These are kids. It's funny you say that because he, we talked about it on another episode. He said something about teaching about, you know lgbt related topics in school like to mm-hmm. children and they don't learn that on their own they don't like you hate isn't something that you're just born with like you people teach you yeah. that Facts. like someone teaches you that shit and and it's crazy because you know me and cat talk about me coming out to my dad all the time like you know i'm gonna tell my dad i like girls one day but and I'm just Wait, like, you haven't came out to your dad yet? Child, Is he Jamaican, no. Jamaican? Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. Like, we Jamaican. Oh, oh Jamaican, Jamaican. Yeah, I'm Jamaican. Oh, y- oh y'all like Jamaican. Jamaican. <laughs> I'm like, Jamaican. What's Jamaican, Jamaican? Like, 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 <laughs> what does that mean? Like, born in Jamaica. No, like, she, this one was born in America, but she's but Jamaican, 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 too. <laughs> like, Jamaican parents are out here are, like, strict as hell and, like, ain't with the... Ain't would it? I was born here, but I'm Jamaican. Jamaican. That's, go ahead. Okay, okay. Jamaican. J- Sorry if I offended any Jamaican. No, you Jamaican. ain't waiting for the Jamaicans. No, yeah, okay. it's a lot of Jamaicans. I no, know. no, not me. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm not calling you Jamaican. <laughs> you can't. No, I'm no. too real. Oh lord. <laughs> but yeah, like my dad still lives in Jamaica. Like wow. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he does not want to come to this country. Like he co- he'll come and visit, but he does not want to stay and here. Like, to leave. like why does he, he not want to come here? Because he feel like. It's too free, and they well, doing whatever they do. No, 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 no. My father is um, really disgusted by America. Um, <laughs> he feels like okay, you know how to wait, talk wait, about. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you say um? Because I I feel like too free because when I spoke to people about and, in India, you know they they told me America, you guys do whatever y'all want to do. Y'all drugs, y'all party, y'all crazy, y'all gay, y'all do this. I was like, oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> My thing, I. America does have a lot of freedom, but I, I feel like, like everything is in excess. There's a lot of things I like. Yes. I like simplicity in a lot of things. Uh, and this is why I appreciate home. Mm. Because up here, it just be too, too much fast, going too much. on. <laughs> and I get a headache. And I get these. Like, we both mm-hmm. get these moves. And we just like, wow. Time to the go. World. Time to go. Like what? Like, from social media to oh. like... Even the things in the news, like just the way everything moves, it, and it don't have no manners. Structure from the like, from the top down. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like I understand, and okay. a lot of stresses. Yeah. That even just come with just you just waking up, like <laughs> wake up and the stress that you right in your face. I'm listen, lying. Listen, you you're not lying. There's stress everywhere. Stress my course. ass. Listen, when, when I say when I say I cut you off in zero point five seconds, because my happiness is up. Is yeah. the most important thing mm-hmm. to me. So if anything's stressing me, something gotta change. And yeah. I tell I tell people that all the time. Listen, but what if it's like you can't cut off? What if it's, like it's not people? Like what? It's not always people. Like what? It's your job. It's you cut you. it off because you can get a new job immediately. If you unhappy, I tell people this all the time. I preach this. If you unhappy at a workplace. Mm-hmm. Damn that job, because God bless you with this job. He can bless, bless you with another, another job. All right. It, if you re- if you're truly unhappy, a job. If you truly unhappy with a job, you won't stay. If you truly unhappy. No, but we also have to be rational and not just hop out of one yeah. job without one lined up. We not yeah, yeah, but, are, but are you searching for another job? But yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I'm, 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 I'm always no, no, actively no, no, no. searching for another <laughs> job. No, Me too. I'm, I'm not saying with you, but people people wake up hating a job but go to their job for 15 years straight saying, yeah. I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job. Well, did you apply? No. Well, no, no, no not them. I'm not with yeah, them. No. That's different. You you sitting there in it. I you can't know help what's bad? you. You're not making the moves He called out some people from my, you remember when I used to work down the street from my apartment he called right. out some people there boy because they will i, I mean I, that's, 15 years me, you me, working somewhere. me growing up i grew up with people what people saying oh, i'm on, i hate to go to work i'm unhappy i hate to do this i'm but dang, i wish i heard i wish and i hate so much when i was growing up and i said i wouldn't i i wanted i would never want to die what i wish mm-hmm. if i want to do something i'm going to do it mm. if i want to go somewhere i'm going to go if i want to buy something i'm gonna buy if i want to do something i'm gonna work hard so i can do it to make me happy. I don't care because I leave everybody else. It's I go not. across the world by myself. No, People right. are like, what are you doing? 
leaving y'all ass. I'm out of right. here. Like, I want to say I never dealt with someone saying they hated their job because my mom was never like that. Yeah, and my parents were never either. like that. My parents was like, look, this is thankful what it is. for this. I have it. Mm-hmm. I can provide. I can do everything. Mm-hmm. Let's get it done. But I also knew that if they had their own choices in that life, would be it. you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have picked the things that they had mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I already learned with that, like, and I, I was headed, and I, I was like. headed in that direction. Not my black. Like ass. in college, major that I didn't want oh, until see. until I was like, nah. Until I snapped, yeah. and I was just like, I left it behind. Because you had enough. Yeah, and I started doing my own thing because, but thankfully, I learned early mm-hmm. because I went to a magnet school that had legal and public affairs. So I I started in high school wow. like I'm gonna be a lawyer. Oh, I man. listen. My parents heard that. What? Yes, of lawyer. Yes, of yes. The big doctor. Listen. What? The liar. What? Listen, so freshman year, before I even got into the first semester good, I was like, oh, this ain't it. Let me tell you. But the way that school is, it's a magnet school. I don't know how they're doing it now, but at the time, you had to get accepted to go there. They do a lottery. Yeah, it was a lottery thing. Yeah, I know magnet school. And the thing about it is, like, I couldn't just switch my um, major, Mm -hmm. quote unquote, like what magnet I was in. I had to withdraw? leave the school. Yeah, I had to withdraw and reapply in hopes. Yeah. Now I'm a sedity bitch. That they would, that they would. I'm not. I'm not mixing with the common folks. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. You can call me whatever the fuck oh, you want to call me. That's that magnet school. Listen, mm-hmm. not even just that. <laughs> like I, I went to private school. All oh that. Lord, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Okay. I mean, I can hang out with you on Talk a regular to the day. Folks, yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm listen, public. but no, I went to public school also. But I listen. A yeah, I could I could be that, but I'm I I can't take people reading and me sitting there looking at you like what? Mm-hmm. Like I mm, like even AP classes. I was just, so AP. Uh uh-uh, uh, I was not an AP. <laughs> not even close to AP. Can, can they you, had me. They had me three s- buildings over from AP, <laughs> making sure I don't mistakenly go inside Let the AP her, building. Well, <laughs> listen, and that's why my parents were so like, oh yeah, you're gonna do law, you're AP gonna you know. Show. And A-P-P-E. listen, A-P-P-E. me and Matt. A P P E. That's about the only A P that was on my. That's about the only I A love, that was on my report card. Child. I love Dang. math. Like I'm like a math baby. Mm-hmm. I love math. Hey, yeah, keep I know. that shit. I hate. My, math. It was my father's fault. You know. I Daddy's like yeah, girl, and like I was math. a disobedient one because I wasn't with no math. I love my math. father. Like math. I like English. I got in trouble for reading in class. Like I, I was one of those yeah, I like people. English. But man. at the same time, oh, you don't apply yourself. I was like, this shit is easy. Like you're not challenging me. I'm bored. But no. So back to the law thing. Mm-hmm. That was basically what was happening mm-hmm. in law. Like I grasp it. I get it. And it was one of those things. Like I don't want to do this, but if I had to do it, yeah, I would go in this strand of laws. And I was just like. It's the first year, and I hate this shit. Or y'all want me to do three more years of high school, then go to college and do, and then go, I was like, ooh, child. So imagine me telling my mom, I was like, this isn't it. Mm-hmm. I literally went to high school for four years, studying law every single year, and then left high school and went to an art school. Mm-hmm. Oh lord. Yeah. Oh, child. And what did your mom say? Child, you're I had not, to pay for that shit myself. First. You're not the first. <laughs> I had to pay for that shit. A my lot of people. A lot self. of people did that. My mother helped me out with the first semester. She bought my books, and I had to pay her back because she did not support that shit. But I'm so happy that you did that. Yeah. I'm so happy you did that because Listen. people are living Mm-mm. other people's lives, and I hate it. <laughs> we ain't got no sob. Can Damn. we clap? We go. We go. Thank you, TPM applause button. <laughs> like, got my phone. phone gone. <laughs> yep. But still, yeah. It'll be all right. Listen. Say that again. Yes. 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 People are living other people's lives out here. Listen. You only get one life. Mm. Live your life, please. Because they to live what in you want to do. Whatever you want. Theirs. Seriously. And if anyone listening to this podcast, y'all already know how I roll. If you are happy, get out the situation and make sure you are happy. Watch the video so you can see him pointing at y'all ass. Yes. Point, point. I need you to point. <laughs> you, make sure you are happy, please. Please. <laughs> Happiness. Two, 2018 happiness. You might, I'm as, not well, you even, might as well cross it off now. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's done now. No, no, dumb my ass. We still got some time left in 2018. <laughs> Start today. Start whenever you're listening to this. If you it's a if it's one more day in 2018, it's still one more day. It's still you you got one more day. You're Don't right. even put it off to 2019 because we nipping it in the bud in 2018. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah, yeah. We getting flued out all 2000. I'm joking. Ooh, I'm, jo- yes, I, I'm sorry. Put me on a plane, I'm bitch. A, can I put on an advertisement. <laughs> go go. Yo, if there nah. Listen. And she went to my high school, Carisha. Oh really? Yes. What high school did she go to? I'm not telling y'all, but she went to my high school because y'all ain't going to talk about my high school. No, you went to Kara City? She went to Miramar High. I was about, I, that was going to be my next Miramar. guess. Who? Carisha Miramar, from... girl, home of the pages. You know about Miramar. Who? Uh, What's her name from City Girls? Carisha. City Girls from the 305. 
But she went to Miramar? Yes. Um, First of all, I don't listen to that foolishness. I was going to say, um, I don't listen. No, I, they, I don't listen to they that. They sound like a young version of Trina. And I love me some Trina. Y'all not going to talk this about the, Trina. I take your man, bitch. Yes. Man. I take That's, nigga with a bag at with a bag. I yeah. take <laughs> your man, bitch. I, I, I that don't right? know that song. Yeah. Okay, no. Thanks. I only yeah. know that song, period. I don't need that. Yeah, period. I don't need that. Yeah. I, I'm mi- missing nothing. Yeah, it's yeah. Where the bag at, nigga? Where the bag at? <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I honestly, though, I, I really, that's the only part I know. I just oh. know I take your man. Dude. Yeah, I know. Like, well, the I hooks. know them from that Drake song. J- oh, yeah, that song, Kiki. Yeah, yeah that. Kiki. Child. So that's why everybody was like, oh my God, City Grand's on there. I was like, who? City who? Damn. Y'all know I be on the ship, child. I be forgetting. I don't know oh, none of these I people. I was going to say, how do you gonna say, ask you, like, yeah. uh, off, I'm so behind with music. It's so, I literally turn on 99 Jams. I don't know 98% of the music they playing. I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm waiting for a throwback jam. I'm like, please play a throwback jam because this. Yeah, I listen to it at 5 o'clock when they play the traffic jam. I just learned <laughs> I about Booed Up two, like three months ago. Oh, they like playing the filth like out of that. A year and so oh, old now. Yeah, now I just Boot literally. Up is old as hell. Th- three <laughs> months ago, I learned about Booed Up. Three months ago. When you got off so the ship? When I got off, I'm like, oh, I sent it to my friend. She was like, boy, don't send me this. She's like, <laughs> yeah, she tired. Yeah, she's like, you are so late. You are always so late with songs. But so, Boot Up is my song. It's your song now? It's my song. Not now, because Hot 105 and all these other things play. Played the filth. Five minutes, you can hear Boot Up on the radio every five minutes. Mm-hmm. It's still playing like that? Yes. Still playing. I don't listen to the radio. Yes. I like the radio because, I don't know why I like it. Because it's like talks like this as well. I like Rick Party. I like um, mm-hmm. I like radio, radio talk and stuff. I like talk radio. Like in Jamaica, how they have like the talk radio and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Because of that, growing up listening to that, I like stuff like that. Yeah. So that's kind of like how My I did. My uncle used to like put on the radio and listen to it at night. Mm-hmm. While I'm dead on, and then yeah. that's how we used to go to sleep. Listen. To yeah. Oh no, I need pitch silence. Really? I to if, go to sleep. To go to sleep. Oh, I'm no. talking about the room have to be pitch dark. Nope. It got to be silent. I'm talking about not even a fan going. I just want to tell you right now, you see this room, how this isn't you talking? If there's I a comfortable little asleep. seat right there or there's the floor, I will You're fall cute. asleep right you on that floor. You said comfortable. I will fall asleep on that floor. No. Why no. with right here with you talking and all this like. You know I'm notorious for dropping asleep in the middle of everything. Like, I will fall asleep. On the floor. I can't sleep in a car. I can't sleep what? in a plane. I can't sleep in a bus. I can't sleep. Listen. I have to... It's the weirdest thing. I, I gotta fell be somewhere. asleep on the plane on the anywhere. way home this afternoon, bitch. I was slumped. Yeah, how was uh, Georgia? Georgia. I was slumped. Georgia was great. I went there for my best friend's um, 30th birthday dinner celebration. Not me. Uh, I just want to be clear. <laughs> Whatever. It's too cold <laughs> up there. But happy birthday to, to the uh, other best friend. Aww. <laughs> Y'all so funny. It's funny, though, because something like that happened because someone brought up her other best friend that she's oh, known. Oh, Lord. Because Chabu, but we've known each other since we, me and her met like the first day of high school, uh-huh. right? And we've been friends ever since. But she had a friend from before that that she was, you know, best friends yeah. with. And I, I was, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Okay, cool, you got another friend. Wow, go you. And there was a point in time where me and her weren't speaking, so she acquired a new best friend, right? Oh, she out the door. But no, it's funny because her new best friend apparently wanted to fight me. Yes, and while they weren't friends, I happened to you. But, you were right okay, there to no, come in because you were there even before we stopped talking. So it's whatever. But her one of the people that were at the party was like, "Oh, her other best friend." Da da da. da and trying to see my reaction, I was like, okay. "Bitch, I know my place." The fuck? I was like, "Okay." And that's the same. That, that's one of the things I love about Cat, though, because Cat would be like, she'll talk her shit, but at the end of the day, like. Who cares? <laughs> like, like she'll talk yeah, shit like, all day. Like, who best friend? Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, I don't. It's not that big a deal. And I feel as like, long as you being the best friend, that's it. Exactly. I don't care about it. But some people don't know how to handle shit like that. No, like, they don't. It's kindergarten. Like, you're my friend and my friend only. Like, that's it. Like, she said something cool, about her cool. best friend earlier, and I'm like, can I say his name? Like, mm-hmm. people really be upset no, about that shit. Like, your ex best friend. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, ex best friend. Okay. What's oh, you name? didn't say ex earlier. <laughs> ex. <laughs> He's my ex best friend. Aww. That's not nice. Is he listening he is. to the podcast? I don't he know. better be. To hell with him. If he's not, then he's the ex best friend for real. To hell with him. Mm. Okay, we're not going to say his name. Dominic. Mm. Dom- no, not Dominic. I just Dom- call him Dom. Yeah. Oh. To hell with him. Damn, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> Dom sounds cute. Well, I just. If you into that type of thing. I go just, ahead. I just found out another race on the planet. Not race. I'm just being silly. I just found out. Um, Wait, what? About Trinidadians. And how, oh, God. And how fine they are. 
Because I seen his main. He from Trini. <laughs> Let me show y'all a pitch. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you and your obsession with Indian, man. It goes so beyond you have an just Indian the thing. Yeah. You like royalty? Yes. Mm. I don't like spicy food though. So how I was, you gonna make it? I was in hell. <laughs> how you gonna make it? Well, I have I had roti that wasn't spicy. Okay. From where? India. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I had a lot of stuff that people was like, "Oh no, it's impossible for you." And to you get. had dal and. Mm. Yeah, well, that. I didn't eat much after the first two weeks. I was like, "I'm done with Indian food" because mm. my stomach said, Ooh. "Hell to the no." Ooh. Dead. What happened? How was that? Like you? Because you said after two weeks. How long were you there for? Six weeks. So I start eating Chinese food every night. Huh? Okay, well at least you could get it. Yeah. <laughs> if you could get it, then I'm gonna say what Chinese well, food. Well, I didn't know if you were able to. No, Chinese works. food is everywhere. I'm convinced for you to like get you know other food other than. But he said what? he was in the tourist areas too. They got though, yeah, so. they got McDonald's and all mm-hmm. that foolishness. What do they have at McDonald's in India? Chicken. Really? No burgers, cause I want to know, cause the cow. I always yeah, heard that McDonald's yeah. is better everywhere else though. That's a lie. I wish then, people stopped lying. So then I don't understand people when all the because everybody trying to be everybody trying to be foreign and thinking they all that bitch. No, mm-hmm. it's not like that. Okay, it ain't nothing like a processed burger <laughs> at McDonald's. I don't. I don't eat burgers. No. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm just saying it ain't nothing like they say. Yeah, Americans eat so many processed foods. We do, but that big good for because <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, it's so, I, I wanted a. Um, McDonald's burger so bad, like Mm-mm. we finally went to McDonald's. And I was like, oh, I want a burger. I get in there, I'm like, fuck. No, ain't no burger. No burger, Mm-mm. cause the cow is sacred. Yeah, the cow is so sacred. So I was over hurt. There. My mouth saw water and for I just knew I was oh. gonna get a big mud. And I. That's the worst. When you got a craving for something and you just no, not happening. I, I was I was looking at the lady. She was like, no, sir, like. So Dan, did she look they at you like horrified? No, she was just like, ne- like, when, like oh, you must be want? American. But it, th- this is a boy right here. You can't tell me he ain't fine. Oh, gosh. Dan, <laughs> he's wearing my favorite Let team. Let me see. Is that the Patriots? Yes. Gang, gang. Oh. I'm from Connecticut, so. Yes. I don't, I don't watch football. <laughs> Not American football. But he really is. got the hat and the shirt. We can't the do hat, that. That's no, we can't lesson. do that. We can't do that. Fine. He has the Patriot hat and the Patriot shirt on at the same time. We cannot do that. He doing too much? We can't do that. He probably going to say, gang, get off my man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this man don't even know me. Let me see. That. <laughs> this man have no idea who I am. I found him on Instagram last night. Oh, wow. What's up? What you, what you like about him? He's Indian. Just he, look at his face. He likes Indian boys. Look at his face. Look at You his like beard. the look color. You like. I like the color. I like the face. I like the eyebrows. I like everything. You got the features. And the stuff. hair, yeah. the everything. Yes. And I like him dark, too. Mm. The dark ones are the better. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> look, you look stressed. Like mm, yes, the Yo, dark ones. Does your boyfriend know about this man? No, he has no idea. <laughs> he gonna learn today. <laughs> he has no idea. But he told me I can go, I can go shopping, but I can't buy anything. Oh, okay. So I Would can, you, wait. Explain that. Explain I can that go real quick. shopping, but I can't buy anything. What I does can that mean? Look, I can mean, look, and I can say, oh, he's cute. Oh, he's cute. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> but you bet not go to the register hall. <laughs> mm, okay, so you can say he's cute. I can whatever, say he's cute and stuff. But you cannot. Okay, I do. <laughs> that's funny. You go shopping, but you can't buy. You nothing. can't buy nothing. Window mm. shopping. Yeah, window shopping. And, oh. I, and he ain't playing. Oh, but that's geez. my man. That's your man. That's my man. And his name is Kevin. Kevin and Tevin. Ooh, that's wanna, too close. I'm about to call y'all corny so bad. For no. real, like well, it's, it's just, not your fault, but it, shit. it's not my fault. It just <laughs> no. so happened his name was Kevin. Kevin and yours is Tevin. Yeah, it just works. So how, how did you I dated know? a guy named Tevin? Yeah, both of them. Well, it was a little. So I won't. I won't. Were y'all I won't like say, in the same age no, range? No, I won't say officially dating, but we talked. Okay. It wasn't a relationship. We okay. talked. Okay. So How do you mean. usually like meet guys? Um, say you want to hook up, and that's it. Ownership but, is is totally different. Like I can just go go up what? to someone and like I, on a ship. Wait a minute. Say so you want to hook up. Yeah, I can go on a ship. I can literally be on a ship and go up to like a crew member, crew member only, crew member only. Okay. I can literally go up to a crew member. What about like, HR? You talking about crew member only? Hold on. Yeah. Now. What are the rules for that? On I board? mean, first the rules. What do you mean the rules? Are you guys? Can you guys fraternize? Yeah, with each other. Okay, not, not but with you the can. Yeah, not with the guests. Yeah. No, but you guys can fraternize with each other. Yes. Yes, oh, what, what do you think? Look at you, look at you. App- wait, applications. They, want you, they like, want you, they want you to, to mingle and get with each other. And then they put you in the same cabin and you live together. And, what? And, and, and you go ship to ship with the person. Ain't no application for this. Oh. I'm, 
I'm all free. For, I'm free for six months to to travel. <laughs> yeah, they, I just would like to they say they encourage you. They encourage. They was like. Do you want to go? Oh, because they get one room instead of two rooms, yeah. so they ain't got to so pay for two rooms stuff, for y'all. Yeah, Fuck that. Ain't... Hey, look, if I, <laughs> y'all got a polyamorous I relationship, all five of y'all. I on that bitch and I happen to find a thing and we, and they, <laughs> wow. But the thing is, the person, you can be, you can start seeing a person and they get transferred like this. Damn. So you got to link IDs. But Kevin, I remember Kevin, that's my man. So I remember <laughs> Kevin coming down the stairs. Oh, Jesus. I was staying it off the stairs, but I was watching all the, he was in class, so all the people in training coming down the stairs. And I just seen this just chocolate thing. <laughs> and he walked past me. He didn't even notice me. Oh, God. I was staring him down from like, Mm-hmm. <laughs> didn't even notice me. Walked past me, and I went. I went to his trainer. Was like, "Who is that boy?" She was like, "Oh, that's Kevin." I was like, "Hook he'll, he'll me up." She was. She started laughing. I was like, "What is he? Is he gay? Is he not?" Da, 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 da. She didn't say nothing. So I went to him, and I was like, "He was in a crew bar." I was like, "Oh, can I get you a drink or whatever?" We got a drink. Mm-hmm. We was talking, we were chilling, and then a couple of days later, like I was like, "Do you want to watch a movie?" He was like, "Sure, whatever." Get off. So we went to my cabin. Um, this is when I had a roommate. Mm-hmm. So we was watching different movies. We had wine and popcorn on. The oh floor. God, Netflix and chill and on the fucking cruise mm-hmm. ship. No, it's like ne- Netflix, my ass. It's, but- it's what you. <laughs> it's what you downloaded before you got to that damn ship. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not covering a damn mic. So, so I was going through my movies like, so what do you like? And he was like, oh, I like Disney movies. So we was, I think we was watching like Aladdin or Little Oh my God. Something, something like. we, I was just watching his. Him, of course. Because mm-hmm. he was literally, he's, 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 he's literally, but he doesn't know he's so gorgeous. He's so That's gorgeous. the best. Mm-hmm. When they don't know. When they don't know. Like his eyebrows are so thick. Oh my and God. So dark. Oh boy. Look at him. I I'm feel sorry. you. I Look at you. You're like he just uh, don't so fine and don't even know it. Don't even know it. Don't make no sense. Look, look, look. Look at you. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. Oh yes, my Can you just over there? Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. He's going to kill me. For real. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. You blushing over him and all that? Is he yeah. out? He's out. Okay. He's out. Like to his parents and yep. stuff, too? He's out to his parents. Thank God. Because okay. I can't deal. Yeah. Child. Can you deal with someone that's not out? Not in this age. Not in this economy. No. No. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I can't be with somebody who ain't out. That's like why are you why are you in the closet? No. What we gonna do? Yeah. What I'm doing with you? No. Yeah, cause I gotta show people my man. Yeah. I gotta. <laughs> this my man, y'all. Like this my man, so y'all better not look at him. I just you just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I. Mm-mm. And no. I'm thinking about even when I was younger, I wasn't comfortable with people in the closet, like dating someone, cause I'm affectionate. I'm down with PDA. I'm holding your hand, yeah, me, me grabbing too. ass in public. That's what exactly. I don't. I, I'm not trying to suff- like suffocate my feelings for you because straight people are around fuck them niggas they finna kiss and do all this shit in front of us yeah exactly. and i damn sure don't want to see y'all asses tonguing down so why would i ever like no so yeah i can't i can't with the mm-mm. Child. no cl- no so mm-mm. no being and i feel like yeah and it feels like they're putting you back into the closet of course when you date somebody in the closet because bitch no it's another job oh. it's, a, it's another oh, job. job it's another job it's another job that's why i don't see how people cheat too I'm like, bitch, I got one job already. Wait I don't. A I'm like, I got one job already. The I same can... way I be at one job looking for another job. <laughs> the same way. That's how. The hell you talking about? Listen, love me enough to leave me. Don't cheat on me. <laughs> I tell I yeah. tell people that all the time. Please love me enough to, to leave me and don't cheat on me. Because oh, if I'm you cheat on me. Like, if you feel like cheating, just tell me you, you would like to go. Yeah, that's it. Because we can both go. I just... But Kevin ain't going nowhere. Okay. You heard that, Kevin. What's how to go? Kevin ain't going nowhere, okay? Because that's my man. <laughs> that's your man. That's my man. He's so cute. <laughs> he really is. So after the uh, the downloaded movies and chill, yeah. did y'all have a conversation? We talked. We um, we slept together. Not like... Like sexually. just sleeping we, yeah, together. We slept together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, and that's what I like about Kevin. Mm-hmm. No gentleman. Like we we just we just we loved each other company. Yeah, so y'all just existed yeah. together. So it was like, oh, so oh, you getting off the ship? To, yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, let's grab a burger. Yeah, let's grab something to eat. And then it turned into like, wow. And then when we actually went the extra mile, mm-hmm. it was amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it was like, okay, we earned it. But did y'all have a conversation, or it was just like, okay, we're sleeping in the same bed, so you must be gay? 
No, it was, it was, it was, we never had a conversation. It was just it. Mm. It was just it. Like, we know. After I offered him the drink. Mm hmm. You just, right. You just okay. And you know. Yeah, you know well, I. Because people will be like, tell me, please. Like, <laughs> not today. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I'm a flirt. I'm okay. always flirting with everybody. Like, okay. I'm, I'm always flirting. So, but Kevin hate that. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so I'm always, like, squeezing the boy arm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Woo! Hell. Hell. On and off for like. Hell. Three mm-hmm. years. <laughs> maybe more. Like, even when we weren't together, we were like together. Like, yeah. it was. Y'all gonna catch this video, boy. Oh, this Bobby and Whitney. Without the crack. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love will make you too long. Um, yeah, we, we were together for a while. Like on that was my first like real girlfriend too. So that's, that's was it my... crazy? Was the relationship just crazy? No, no. It started off like me being a hoe and not really wanting to be in a relationship, but wanting her to myself at the same time. Oh, okay. And you know me, it, it was like the beginning stage of me like first like exploring vagina okay so you know i was like bitch pussy is great like i always knew i was like, <laughs> like <laughs> sorry <laughs> boy if you don't move along like don't don't even come over here with mm. i always knew i liked girls so you know it was just like whatever but yeah it was it was like my young days i was in college you never been with a woman like sexually, sexually? sexually? no oh Sexually, Are you no. sure you're gay? How do you know you're gay if you've never had sex with a woman? woman. <laughs> you sure you're not bisexual? Are you sure? Yeah. You might like it. I know it. what I like. <laughs> mm-hmm. You Dude. might like something else too. That's what I'm saying. So you've mm-hmm. never. No. You've I mean, I seen. Women and stuff. Yes, I seen girls naked. Mm-hmm. Does nothing for me. Mm-hmm. A girl can stand butt booty naked in front of me. It gotta That's be the right one. Guys. Yeah, and I'm just like, <laughs> excuse me. Move out. The, yeah, move out the yeah, way. Yeah, you, you're blocking the light. Yeah. No, trust me, I get it. Yeah. But I'm sure people ask you all them dumbass questions. Like yes, girl, you already know how you know how it go. How do you, how do you know? How do you know? How do you the really same know? way you know you don't like the same sex. Bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't nobody have no argument with me because ah. I had, had it, tried it, didn't like it. No. No. Was he Jamaican? Mm-hmm. I have not <laughs> had any other kind of boyfriends <laughs> other than Jamaican. Oh, they the best, girl. Oh, God. to who? <laughs> To, to those who? that like men. To the world. To who? Child. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. I hear about the Jamaican. You mean school. to those who want to be with them. But I mean, yeah, they exactly. were, I mean, if I, all right, how about this? If I was a straight woman and I was into them the way they were into me, sure. By it would have been, been fine. And they were great guys that way, but no. Oh, yeah. Because nah. they're off the chain. But, see, but the, way, the way they talk and the way they, oh, oh, like, oh, I, oh. I know y'all hate Bitch, it. Bitch, my lip is twitching. I, I don't the, hate The way it. they talk and the way it. they carry oh, themselves is I love it. Because I maybe that's the the masculinity that drives me to men because they're so toxic masculine. <laughs> <laughs> they're so no, they're Too so extreme macho. With the, with they, the... I feel like they're so macho. They're extreme. But they're so macho. They're extra as hell. Yeah. Yeah. They're so extra sometimes they might appear But the way they the carry themselves is just gay. like ooh. <laughs> Yeah, so She's rolling chest. her ass over here. Yeah, just, like I'm because I'm one. I can't really. It's just. I, yeah, I mean, it's, I have a love hate with the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Shout out to my Jamaicans. Mm. <laughs> the men, the women, the who? Mm. The men, the women, the whole country. Mm. Oh, okay. But I won't see y'all over there. I meet y'all over here. You ain't. You ain't there. going. Huh? You're not doing. I'm this? not going. No. No. I am not going. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We want to pride next year. You coming? Absolutely not. <laughs> look at look at her face. Listen. Jamaica. Do they got pride in, in Jamaica? Yes, That's what do. I'm talking about. Yeah. I was joking though. I'm not yeah. going. In the beginning it, of it, August. Is that like writing your suicide note? No. No. Oh, it's shit. been going on. There's been no injuries. No. no nothing. They have the whole week. They have security they have events, and everything. They have parties. Security. All of that. Uh uh-uh, uh. No sorry, casualties. I can't do it. No. I can't no do it. casualties. When it's I been go going there, strong. Well, like three, four years now. When I go, it'd be the first casualty. It's been it's been a while. Uh uh-uh, uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. They have videos, like they have uh, yeah. like everything. You could watch they, it. They've been having yeah. pride all over the Caribbean lately. Me and Janet gonna go. It's just gonna take us like two years, yeah. two three years to go. You know, it's new to us. I never been to one pride. What? Ever? Ever? You're tripping. What, what everyone says, listen, tripping. you're the worst gay. <clears throat> oh, like Jesus. on the ship, they were like, "You're the worst gay." I don't watch RuPaul. I don't do this. I don't do this. They like, what the fuck do you do? And I'm over here like watching, getting ready Not for not fulfilling stereotypes. No, I'm getting ready for the football games. I'm like, I'm like, oh wow. Stere- and but I'm with the, the boys. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm with the boys though. I'm drinking beer. I'm like, I'm like, they like, motherfucker, you are crazy. This is why you're able to flow in different settings. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. 
Cause a lot of Cause people, it's, everybody just make they life about being gay. Like relax, yes. yo. We know you gay. I be telling relax. them, we, th- thank you. We know you gay. Calm oh down. Oh my gosh, drive me nuts. I be like, yeah. like you okay? So How you what, extra what, what all else? the time? Like what else? You gay yeah. and then what? <laughs> but that, but sometimes that's people they. Oh, y'all about to br- listen. Sometimes <laughs> that's all. Like I know someone that's like that. He's gay. Mm-hmm. He that's all know, he want to talk that's about. That's all he. That's all he is. Gay. Got nothing going for itself, okay? Drive me nuts. Yeah. I'm just like, get a life. They focus, they 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 make their life around that. There's yeah. something for them to talk about, to... Da, 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 da. It's so, because, yeah. no, it's because you ain't got no sense. Yeah. It's not because you gay, it's because you stupid. Like, what? Yeah. No. This is amazing. I love this. <laughs> I, really do. I love this. Just sit here and talk your shit. <laughs> yeah, but, man. yeah, I mean, I don't know. So... After Norwegian, what would be the next best cruise ship for you to be on? Not Norwegian. Th- <laughs> Norwegian. Um, Carnival. Really? I love Carnival. I love the. I love that Carnival didn't change you. They don't. They didn't want you to be anyone but yourself. Like they don't want you to change, and they accept you the way you are. It's a lot of gay people there. It's a lot of. If you want to preach, you can preach. If you want to do this, you can do this. My thing, like how you how you get a job like this on a cruise one? ship? Like you apply and you and apply. It's, it's you apply. What do you do? Like, I want to be like a cruise member, like a ship yeah. member. They is literally like a, a regular job. They have all these things Post you things can do. And stuff right. You can click what you want. I always get the I like, was telling email Nye to with do the, the, oh, the chef. I always get the email with the oh, we're doing the interviews and then yeah. I mean, I, look. Sometimes I just be ready to run off and get me. Listen, a little, do it. I don't. But I, if even wow. if you do it for six months, that's a it's even if you do it for six months, do it. I don't know what to do. like. You don't have attachment issues to no, nothing at home. You can pick up and go. I do have attachment issues. Oh. But I'm saying though. But I'm saying though. You are okay with picking up and going for the most part. I, yeah. You yeah. probably need somebody I, to go with you. But no, you don't no, need no. You, <laughs> no, you. Yeah, need, I wouldn't mind like having somebody there yeah. for like. No, you need a. You literally need to be a hundred percent. Like this is me, cause. Well, I've done that. I've I've wheeled off and picked up and moved and no, went no, no. somewhere this else. Is, this but is this a, is a big. This no, this is, is like a whole a, nother ball game. We don't yeah. even call it a job. We call it a lifestyle. Right. Because it's so different. You're there alone in the middle of the ocean. You have no cell phone connection. Sometimes the internet don't work. You're missing Thanksgiving. There is You're something. Missing Christmas. But see, okay, but for a person like me, I can miss Thanksgiving. Yeah, what you? I can miss Christmas. It's not. It. You you can miss it because you never had the opportunity to not be able to call your family on the phone on Christmas. Maybe. Yeah. No, I'm Maybe. saying you, 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 you always have, yeah, some mm-hmm. people always have the option. They can call. Mm-hmm. You choose, but this is, no, you make it other people Christmas. Mm-hmm. You have no time. Like yeah. you Christmas, Thanksgiving, busiest holidays, New Year's. No. Like, I tell my parents all the time. Like I talk to y'all like three days later after New Year's. And what are y'all weekend. shifts like? This is what I wear. The shifts like. is, it, <laughs> It give you just enough time to not go to sleep. I'm in entertainment, so I'm blessed to have a more relaxed schedule. And you know, you can. Mm-hmm. My job is not a job. We we have fun. I'm making people laugh. I'm jumping on tables and dancing. That's my job. Like literally, that's my mm-hmm. job. Um, but we work for 45 minutes. We have a, like a 45 minute break. You work for 45 minutes. You have a 45 minute break. You work for 45 minutes. It's annoying. But in those 45 <laughs> minutes break, you got to set up for your next activity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So everything you constantly moving. Mm-hmm. You got to set up. It's a chain, and and it doesn't work. If one person don't do their job, it's a chain mm-hmm. reaction. Everything starts falling. This way. If you five minutes late, the next activity is gonna run five minutes yeah. late. So you can't be five minutes late because the whole schedule is gonna be five minutes late. Yeah. So you literally got to be on it. Is the pay good? The pay is great. The pay is great, especially for someone that have no responsibilities, mm-hmm. have no job, um, no job, <laughs> <laughs> have no kids, have no car right now, have no bills. I help my mom whenever she needs something. Mm-hmm. I send her money. Literally, I have no responsibility. So I'm just like, I have no responsibility right now. I could travel the world for free. They give you. You get paid to travel the world. They give I'm, you, le- I'm leaving. They give you room and board. I'm leaving. They give you room it's and like board. It's like you and you and you and like you in the armed services, but without. This like, is exactly. what I called it. Though. That's, That's exactly what I said what before. That reminds me of the army. Yes, it's exactly like the army. Mm-hmm. You have a cabin mate. They sleep above you. They sleep below you. You learn to love people. I like to be naked. How's that gonna work? They better be okay with these titties. I don't Listen, mind people, so it's okay. They, they, the thing, they accept you anyway. If you like to be naked, you be naked. 
Like you straight up tell your cabin mate. If y'all looking for me and y'all don't see me, y'all know where I'm at. <laughs> on somebody if you don't like cruise your cabin mate, you just always saying. tell them. Like, yo, um Twin, where are we applying to? <laughs> y'all come on, come on, y'all. But don't even play with but, me. Don't even play with me. Two weeks in, I boohoo cried my eyes out. Saying Why? this is not for me. What? It was a like I hit a brick wall. I never been like that. Because you can't call your parents. I was away from my brothers. I, mean. <laughs> I was away from my family. I was away from my friends. I was away from, and I was just uh, like, was, no, you, I literally felt alone. And I mean, it's a thousand crew members. And I was like, bro, no one understands me. You're when you only, feel alone to begin with. You're like, you're like the only, uh, well, y'all probably have other people because they, as Americans, you're the only American. It's really low. It's about five Americans every ship. Oh, wow. I do so hear that, you want to talk about stuff that happened at home? You want oh when we was in high school? No, I like that when they come to like uh, I yeah, remember they when show apartment has like where they from. Yeah, I met a lot of people that way. Like they used mm-hmm. to come. I'm like, where are you from? Yeah, and it's and then you start seeing them forming groups. The Indians stay with the Indians. Uh-huh. The, the black mm-hmm. people stay with the black people. I mean, yeah. like the Caribbean people and the Indian people too, because you know I'd be like, Ooh, yeah. yeah, shopping, <laughs> yeah, 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 not yeah, buying. Yeah. <laughs> They're so fine though, but. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Are the lesbians there? Girl. This is what I need to know. It's a lot of... Before th- I go. This is a gay... Oh, how can I say it? Gay friendly? Gay filled day. <laughs> Everybody and their mama is gay. <laughs> Everybody doing each other. Oh, Everybody shit. licking each other. Oh. Everybody having a good old time. So that means that could find me a thing. Oh, it, like this. And they love black. Mm. When I say black... <laughs> when I say they... We, we, we premium over there. <laughs> like premium. I don't know. Prime rib. Come back with a wife named Priyanka. <laughs> Listen, we premium. In the, no, no, no. I'm going to be like, I want that. Come yes. back with a wife uh-huh. named Priyanka. Who that? In the Russians, the Russians. Nope. The, listen. Mm. No, I'm just saying. They, 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 I'm it's, very it's, around no, them type of folks. Some people like, never really seen black people. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they tell me, they were like, like this girl, she was from Poland. She was like, you're like the first black person I've seen like that's not on TV. Yeah. I was like, what? She was like, Yeah. And she was like, can I feel your hair? I'm like, oh, you better the yeah. fuck not. But you know, you know what? I would run into some You better problems. the fuck I not. I you know, I, go, I tell them because they, they, they don't see. Go you. They, don't, they like. Oh no. And then like, I'm not a fucking animal. Me. You're not petting me. me. I know they do it. Yeah. I know, girl. You know they come know. to me and they I know, see I know. my hair. No, yeah. the fuck they not, yeah, bitch. Like, can, go to the zoo, like, bitch. I've seen <laughs> white women like legit come near me like. and like. Me too. Reach over and try to touch like the tip of my lock. Bitch. I didn't I, tell and you. I, and I kind of looked over like. But they want them. Yeah. Yeah. I want to touch. And then she was just like, can I touch? I was like, you already are. You didn't <laughs> Somebody, ask. Uh, you didn't ask. Bro. You already touching me. I'm not going to tell you how we got a new like boss. Well, not new, but he was already in the company, but they like changed around some of the roles. I'm in my department, minding my black ass business. All of a sudden he walked up and he's talking to me, another supervisor. I wasn't paying attention, but whatever. All of a sudden I felt like somebody tug on my dread. You, that thing is long. Yeah, it took yeah. everything in me to not backhand oh. this white man. When I say I w- and I turned around, I looked at him, and I was just like, hi. He was like, sorry. The fuck are you touching my hair for? Like, no. See, if you ask, I might, I might be a little bit more lenient to the idea of you touching my hair. I've had, I've had a black woman ask me to touch my hair. And I'm like, yeah, that's exact, yeah, yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. she yeah. wanted to... No, because she's always had a perm type uh-huh. of thing, and she's going natural, but sh- her hair has always been long. So she's going through like, oh, I don't want my hair to be shrunken up and look. Oh, God. And I'm just like, girl, love yourself, because if you see how long my hair really is, and I never want it to show the full length, I like my the length that you see right yeah. now, I am happy. If it can go a little bit shorter, I'd be happy with that, too. <laughs> but some black people really have like issues within themselves and that's another topic for another yeah, day that, uh, that's another one but but, but like but when white taught. people do it yeah it's yeah taught because i i was taught that hate my hair you mm-hmm. have nappy hair yeah all of naps are your hair but i learned mm-hmm. recently i love my hair mm-hmm. people always be like your hair is so nappy i'm like no my hair is, is yeah, nice. I, I, have, I, have, I, like I have thick hair so yeah and 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 they me as a child mm-hmm. my cousins my mom, my grandma, you hear, you have nappy hair. Mm-hmm. You bad hair, bad hair. That you start hating yourself, that mm-hmm. you don't want to. That's why every time I hear someone say something to a kid like that, mm-hmm. I'm like, Ooh. stop telling them that because they're going to grow up and they they, they they need to learn how to love themselves. Yeah. Now, people want this hair. Yeah. New Russians be like, how, 
Mm-hmm. How can I? They be doing all I types of shit to and nap I, their and hair. And I grew up, up with my cousins, and they were coolie. Oh Jesus! Hi, and hi, hi, hi twins. Ooh. How are y'all? Yeah, so their hair was all nice and everything, and I had the old nigga and. You feel me? I had yeah, roll the, up, roll up in the what kitchen, I'm and I had naps going on. I didn't get a perm until I was a freshman in high school. Wow! So I had the hot comb, everything. Life. You feel me? And they shit was always laid, so I used to hate my hair. Like, mm. yeah, it's crazy. It's what is what our black people see? teaching us. In, in mm-hmm. But I'm more. I'm happy to see more people are going natural. Yeah, more yeah. people are loving their hair. And everything, but it took. It I took, think, as, and I, I learned to love my nose. Even though I used to say I hate my nose, I had a wide nose. I like it. I like, Who you my sound like? I like my nose. Who you sound like? Not liking your nose. <laughs> Who you sound like? Not liking your nose. Who but that? I learned. I learned because what, what star is that? This one no that didn't like their nose. Who is that? They did something about it though. Listen, That's but it was it was fine. <laughs> they were fine. Like I, I learned. I learned all this stuff because I was yeah. like, I'm gonna get a nose job. I told myself I can't mm. wait to get money because I'm gonna get a nose job just because people. Oh, your nose so wide. Your nose. Let me see your nose. Look at me. It's wide. Hold on. Look at me. Like right here. It ain't even half as bad as he making it seem. Let me see. Your nose nose is not that crazy. My nose is big. Your nose is not that crazy. I've seen some noses. Yeah. (laughs) We done seen some noses. Your your nose is fine. No, my nose is wide. I barely have a nose, so but I, I love talk it. About you know, you feel me? I got two little. I holes. got a little dollar. <laughs> but I like it. I but like my nose, bless God, because if I had a big nose and I got big eyes, I would have been in trouble. A lot of people on um, getting like on the ship, their mm-hmm. nose done. Yeah, that's like the latest trend. Uh, right. To go get a rhinoplasty. To get yeah, people love to get their new nose. I'd be like, bitch, y'all look the same. You know, I've looked at some surgery pages for like rhinoplasty, and like I've seen like. Surgeons that do black people, though, not, like, whatever. Yeah. And I'm looking... Some of them look real... Like, they do really good. Because, you know, sometimes you can look and be like, oh, bitch, you got your nose done. Right. But the ones that I've seen, like, people who specialize in African-American features, mm-hmm. their stuff, like, looks great. And I'm just like... You got to be careful who you go to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make sure, and make sure yeah. they know, you yeah. know. And I was just like, you know, that's, that's great. Because I'm looking at it, and I'm like, they did the structure so it still looks like... African American features. African. I'm features. not even taking that chance to not look African American. So it's <laughs> you like, have a nice, yeah. pointy, straight uh, uh-uh. I'm, European I'm nostril. I'm African American, right? How I am without doing anything. So. Yeah. And I don't got yeah. no money for no surgery. Yeah, it's not even it. about the money. So, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm afraid of going under the knife. Yeah, I've never been under the knife. Because I always talk about like getting a boob job, like uh-huh. getting my boobs reduced. Because I'm like I, I hurt like fuck. Listen, I heard that anything that is fucking like no, like I I, I think no, about that. No, I sound the, like y'all want to reduce in a lift. Done. Yeah. Yes. 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 So they can just yeah, sit up like they did when I was to, twelve. You're gonna have to snatch them back if you uh, go and do whatever to them. They're gonna have to pull them back. Yeah. Because let's, let's pull them. And back. I think about because you know I don't <laughs> like clothes. I didn't know I was coming here to talk about today. <laughs> Get away. Today. Get away. But I always talk about because I'm like I don't like wearing clothes. So imagine if I could go around without a bra. Bitch, y'all would hate my black ass bitch. God knew what he was doing. I'd be a naked hoe. Yeah, I don't know how I'd to be feel a full now. You know, naked I know, you know, I'm slim now, so. Oh, go on, slimmers. Pop style pandemia, I'm a friend. Whoa, good day. Girl, mm. girl. Mm-hmm. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta be extra. <laughs> but no, honestly, though, like. Self love is a real ass thing. I talk about self love a lot, and you know, on the topic of like hair and all that foolishness, like I've never had a perm, and wow. I used to, I used to like, not really want one, because my mom did like straighten my hair, mm-hmm. hair in there and stuff like that. But even in school, like people made fun of me because of my hair. They was like, "You need a perm that shit." Like of course. I went through that whole thing, and it's funny. I I think I talked about this before on the show. I had people who back then was like, well, you need a perm that shit, who now have natural hair. Like, oh, mm-hmm. how do you get your yeah. hair to do it? Mm-hmm. Bitch, go suck your mama. Oh, my God. Don't ask me about my blood clot ear. But, but you know what? <laughs> Fuck um, off. You know what I'm <laughs> what I'm learning about our, like, black features and everything? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Black people tend to run. It's two parts, so. Mm-hmm. Black people tend to run from everything that's black. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be associated with black, black, mm-hmm. black. So what I found out when I went to India, they love white. Oh, yeah. They're dark. Yeah. It's white people's on a commercial. They got skin mm-hmm. lightning. They got cameras. Their cell phone cameras turning around. It makes you look whiter. I look. I was like, why do I look so light? My friend was like, that's the camera. I'm like, yeah. Everything yeah. makes you look lighter. They love. My, my friend told me I hate my skin. This boy is fine. <laughs> all outdoors. I'm talking about 
fine. Mm-hmm. Like, fine. I'm going to show you a picture. Like, <laughs> but, but he told me I hate my skin color. He was like, I want to be, I want to be white. I want blonde hair. I said, what? Are you stupid? Yeah. I heard that. Cause I know I have friends that are like Indian, like Indian, Indian. And I think she said her. That's him. Somebody married a white person he's and they treat the baby. He bought my color. What Girl, the fuck? Th- no, th- he's not. He's, he lighter than no, me. No, he's lighter because of it. He's dark. Oh, he wow. Light. The picture made him look lighter like that. Like th- these are the pictures. Like if he I would have seen him <laughs> find a hit. <laughs> Ooh, if, if I would have never seen you him, you really like Indians like that. Yeah, I do. If, if I would have never Look seen him, you. Per- if I would never seen him in person, you'll think he was light skinned This boy is chocolate dark, 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 dark. That's that's a level of self hate that I hope to never acquire. It's so fine. That's <laughs> like, that's sad. That's really sad. But it, I do know that the culture they do idolize white skin yeah. mm-hmm. like on a next level like okay caribbean people black mm-hmm. people yeah we bleach but that's the next level of oh, like, off the chain. they want white like yeah they want from poland white yeah that's child keep that it I'm... will straight up tell you i don't like uh-uh i won't even date white people. so how do you position yourself in a world like that yeah what do you mean? like you like you black, like them you but like they Indian. don't really like um well i still I still like my Indian man. I mean, it's some Indian men that love black men. Of course, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. But so, how is it? Is it like harder? No, actually, no. Even when, when they see you American, they want to sleep with you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Just yeah, because now, now they feel like they're about to get the, the male ticket out of the, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Out of the country. Well, well I'm glad like, you're aware of this. <laughs> oh, listen, listen, listen. listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, they be ready to get the male ticket. Mm-hmm. Like, Tell like, like, were no you from bitch. Africa? I was like, no, America. That's wild. I mean, it's not, but it is I, like... Want a, Everybody want a meal. Wow. Yeah. So if you guys don't see me, just know that I am on one of these ships. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, look a ting. I'm gone. Girl, come on down. <laughs> it's enough room for everybody. I bet. This, look at you. I really... Look. They, they need an IT department? Yeah, they have IT. Girl, they got every department. <laughs> IT, finance, everything. Technical, stuff like this to set up. Mm-hmm. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah? Yeah? Gotta go. <laughs> gotta, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. go. Gotta go. <laughs> Girl, but just get ready for a whole nother lifestyle. Yeah. In six you months know, away. I think about it, and I don't feel no kind of way about that. Like, other either. than, like, being in a relationship, like, other than that, and it's the only thing that would be, like... No, until you, until you notice you can't drive to Walmart. You, you can't go for a walk and get a fresh air because everything is your job. Fresh air might go, be my I thing, but I'm on a, on a boat, on a so exactly. It's it's because guests see you like on the deck. Like other, all crew members can't go on the deck. Only staff can go. On the, yeah. It's two different. It's staff and crew members. You about to ruin my dream? Yeah, crew okay. members are cooks, right? Um, galley stores, mm-hmm. people, you know, stuff. Staff is entertainment, technical. People mm-hmm. pretty much they got. So back to this job. time off, right? Yeah. So your schedule, how is that situated? Like, is it from like five p.m. to the night runs? No, or it's do not you... like that. So it's all day long. It can be all day long. Well, I'm entertainment. So Every day. Yeah, I'm entertainment. So as long as the guests on the ship, you got to work. If they're off the ship, you're off. So if we pull up in the Bahamas or somewhere, you can get off the ship. Okay. Oh, that does happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, like oh, y'all pull child. up somewhere with like and y'all could. Yeah. If you, your job if, is done. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you if if it's time to go off, the guests are off. They're like, yeah, go. Come back when the guests come back. And then vacation is how long? Vacation is up to six up months. Up to six months. After six months, you have to reapply. So you can go cut for three, four, five months. Yeah, you automatically get dropped from the system. But you know where you're going before you sign off. So you know you got a job. You tell them, oh, I want to <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because I know, know your, your wheels are turning. And you're like, Ooh, You bitch. tell them, I want to come to, back. I'm about to be out. Like, for if you leave January 1st. You mm-hmm. say, all right, oh, I think I want to come back on maybe the beginning of February, even though that's not six months. Mm-hmm. Or some people do some people do two weeks off. Mm-hmm. I said, but no, if it's just six months of my life, I'm going to take But it has to be a full stretch of six months. Like when you start work, and it has to be, yeah. a, okay, yeah. so. I mean, but if you have emergencies and you or weddings to go up, they oh, let you so go they care about you like, like that? Yeah, no, yeah, they let you okay. go home and everything, especially family. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, they don't play about that, so. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. That's, this I mean, they watch you like this. And then they be on your face. They got to make sure. To I, I left the ship and went to the formation tour. <laughs> yeah, but to my defense, 
to my defense, my mom had surgery as well. The day before, how convenient. No, the day before the formation, For th- this how I almost got fired. So the day before the formation tour, my mom went into surgery, mm-hmm. which we knew the surgery was going to be there, but it just so happened that the formation tour was in So wait, no, no. So you bought your ticket for formation last minute? Yeah, I did. I actually did. I spent over $1,000 for Bitch. my ticket. Yeah. I literally spent over $1,000 for this ticket. Okay. Yeah. But I went, and so they saw me at the concert, mm-hmm. my people from the ship. So they was like, you took off to go to the concert. So I literally had to bring, like, paperwork saying, like, my mom was in the hospital. What is training like? Like, I just... Okay. Mm. Training is you get thrown in the fire. Now we hit. Okay. Okay. Like, now we hit. You're out there On training. the job experience yeah, is training. you're out training. there training. With, like, tomorrow I'm going to be working, training, in the front lines, standing right next to the cruiser, we're training. But they give you, like, a schedule, like, an idea of what you're supposed to be yeah. doing, though. Like, they give you, like, a program, like... Make something happen with this, basically. Like, that's... What do you mean? Like, for what you do, entertainment purposes. Yeah. So they say, oh, we have a Motown trivia coming up. Okay. We need multi- whatever you want to do. <laughs> so, Motown. And you know, I was like... You know I'm here for that. Mm-hmm. Look, that's my bread and butter right there. <laughs> that, that's my bread. I make sure nothing is going on with Motown. I'm here for that. That's my bread and butter. When I say we put on the show, we put on the show. I need to go on one of your crew. This is what I'm saying. I tell them all the time, listen, this is something y'all do not want to miss. Everybody, their mama, their auntie, their grandma going to be talking about this Motown. Mm-hmm. And they be like, it be packed. Like, before, before the music even starts, people like ready. Then when we do that grand finale, we do a big grand finale with Tina Turner, mm-hmm. which um, I like. I threw off my jacket. And then I so you're a Tina on. Turner? Yeah. And I put the wig on. I'm doing it on a bar. The crowd go crazy, and I take off the wig at the end. And throw it back. <laughs> and they literally, they be going up. I be like, oh, yeah, these people. These people. But they love it. Do you ever get nervous doing that? Um, Every time I go on the stage, I'm nervous. Just because you just want it to be perfect. Okay. But they said that's because I care. Some people are like, fuck this, let's go. Okay. <laughs> that part yeah. of it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever, like, been interested in being in entertainment, like, even before that? No. I mean, I always wanted to be a cruise director, but I didn't know it was... Yeah. Labeled as entertainment, yeah. and I've been silly my whole life. Okay. I'm just acting crazy and <laughs> talk so much, and people are like, okay. <laughs> so this it just, is just works me. for it's, you. It, it works. It works. I literally wake up happy that I'm at work. Must be That's nice. the best. Which I never on land. I never did that. I was like, oh, I got on go. land. I got to go to China. <laughs> on, on land. On land. I, I never did that on land today. Oh, really? Way, I gotta hear him cursing at me. I gotta hear him doing this. The way I'm about to. Okay. <laughs> but when I'm, I'm at work, I'm about to be on land either. <laughs> listen, apply. I will send you the links and everything. But I think you'll be a great fit for Carnival. Me? Why? Because Carnival is like just. I don't know what role you so I can't. But ro- Carnival is just party. Party lifestyle. Why do you think that's me? How you pick that up, friend? <laughs> Why do you think that's me? Because you're ready to go already. Like, <laughs> but Carnival is a party lifestyle. I like new, new yeah. sometimes. Now new. I'm ready for the discipline. Mm. You I'm had ready. all the fun. Yeah, I'm ready. So, for, I'm ready for. I'm ready for the discipline. What are you trying to say about me? I only want party. What? No, that's not. What, no, but you need to enjoy ship life first. Okay. Before you mm. get ready for discipline. So you think there's a step way yeah. that you should do it? Yeah. Okay. Have your fun. And then go to this one. Is it, is it a bit more lenient over there? Um, that's what I, I heard. Royal is strict compared to Carnival. Yeah, but they like listen. Like we got a standard to live up to, mm-hmm. okay. which I, I mean, want. Royal. Yeah, I mean Royal. Is yeah, standard. they like we got a standard. Don't be coming up in here like they straight up talk. Don't uh uh-uh. uh, like this is the list for you to buy. Make sure you got this color suit, this color suit, this color suit. Make sure you got this color socks. This, like. So would she be able to wear her suits? Yeah. Okay. That's all I want to know. No, they want you to be, like, I, I had an Indian um girl, mm-hmm. and I told her what her size is. Okay. She was like, please. I was like, girl, you don't even got to say please. Please wear it. Mm-hmm. And the guests absolutely loved it, because she looked beautiful. Mm-hmm. They want you to be. They want me to show up in my suit. No, they would, they, would nev- they would never make her, like, wear a dress or something okay. like that. Mm-hmm. If you don't want it, with, no. They would never do that. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I know there's quite a few jobs that would not be accepting of... I mean, they're getting better now as time is progressing and, you know, forward movement and all this fun stuff. Like, what's the girl name you was watching a video earlier? Um, the Hermaphrodite. What's her name? Pretty Dunn. Pre- yeah, her. Because... <laughs> 
saying that uh, <laughs> you know, in America you have so many more protection as you know a LGBT person or whatever. True. But that's that's great though, because I mean. Shit, I can't run my damn nose ring down at some jobs. And what well, you 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 can't do it on the ship too. Well, yeah, I was gonna ask you that yeah. next tattoos and piercings Only, and stuff um, like that. If you're an officer, a senior officer. Yeah, give me that. So so what? Like I can that? do it since I'm a I'm a senior officer. I'm a cruise director, so it's part of my image. Everything I do, I like I could dye my hair. So me. So if I went as a whatever, I can't wear this down. If you went as if you went to entertainment, yes, mm. but um, you have to be like a senior entertainment. Yeah. So. But if you have a boss that'd be like, fuck that, which is a lot of I people. mean, I do wear it up, like, yeah. so. Yeah. But a lot of people, they just, yeah, flip yeah, it. Yeah, just flip it and But, um, if you have Not in my job now. I, my job now doesn't care. But my boss is full with tattoos. He got tattoos here, all over his body. Like, he's... What about visible tattoos? That's fine yeah, for anyone? It's visible. Yeah, it's visible tattoos. Royal, you don't allow visible tattoos. Carnival the, wants... So, okay, so Royal says no to visible tattoos. No. I'm not surprised. They straight up asked me that in the interview. Like, do you have visible tattoos on Skype? I was like, no, mm-hmm. no visible, just three, but no visible. Wow, I ain't got, I don't do makeup, so. <laughs> no, but Carnival, Carnival loves that. Like they literally got people tattooed up. As long as it's not you on your are. face. If it's yeah. if it's on your face, then they're like, mm. but uh, it can be anywhere else. Mm. So Carnival, huh? You just keep trying to push me to Carnival, boy. <laughs> right. We plugging out here, mm-hmm. trying to recruit for Carnival, even though you're not there no even more. Even though I'm not there, I'm still Carnival at heart, but. How long were you with them for? Three years. Oh. You had a good times? I did. I mean, I met the love of my life, I think. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I love your I'm, honesty. I met the love of my life, I think. Yeah. I think he's the love I do, of my life. I do like that. I so like far, the I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that. Look at you. <laughs> oh, my God. He gonna watch this video and be like, Jesus I Christ. I know. Kevin gonna be like, listen. Boy. Enough. <laughs> you Have you met his parents? No. Not yet. But I will. I was supposed to go to God. Girl. I'm scared. No. Six weeks, I booked my India trip. Uh-huh. I didn't even think about Kevin when I booked my India <gasps> trip. I felt so bad. I didn't even think about... I was like, I'm going to India. I'm booking a ticket. Boom. Must be nice. And then when I when I actually like posted it, like, oh, I'm going to India. He was like, what about me? I was like, oh, because he was on the boat and you were on vacation. But we got, we got off, he got off a week before me. But the oh. ticket was booked. Oh. Months. Oh, so he was in Guyana. He was in Guyana. Oh. He was like, so you're not going to come see me? Like, Kevin, no. I was like, oh, my God. I was just close to canceling my ticket. Oh, but. shit. <laughs> so how long are you going to India for? No, this um, is well, when this he time, went. This time, Kevin will come. Yeah. Oh, okay. This but time, he did say he going to go. Again. Mm. Yeah. This time, Kevin will come. I don't care. But we are going to Guyana. Okay. But he told me he don't have AC in his house. Don't put this on the video. But he t- It's going on the fucking video. He told me he don't have AC in his house. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan of AC, no, no, but no. if it's an option to have it. Yeah, yeah. Fine. You know, when you, when you don't fan, have AC, you get fan. to... But he said he can't sleep it. with the fan on. It has to be pitch silent. Okay, well, you're going to have to just the- fan out until you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when in Rome. Yeah. When in Rome. That's yeah. It. But, you know... Get you a fan. Sacrifice. Love is about sacrifice. <laughs> I cannot. Just get you a good, good fan. Oh, you can't sleep in a... Well, maybe breeze. Open the window. Yeah, open the window. Some Nighttime breeze. is oh, yeah. probably cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's breeze. Probably cool. You're good. Yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah. Be I fine. mean, he just told me. Because he was asking me, is it air conditioning? It depends. I mean, it depends on how they house built and yeah. how... Well, he didn't show a me lot of, A lot of Caribbean households don't have no Yeah, AC. a lot of them don't yeah, have no he, AC. he was like, don't expect AC. Oh, yeah. He said, don't expect AC because he was trying to get his mom an air conditioner for the house. Mm. And um, he was telling me how he's trying to purchase. I was like, what? You're trying to purchase what? Yeah, he was like, like air a- condition. I was like, yeah. for what? <laughs> he's like, my house doesn't have AC. I was like, oh, Lord. Like, yeah, like washing machine, no dryer. Mm, but that's yeah. just me being an entitled American. That yeah. That's to, why people I say that to people they're like, so you guys have a washing machine but no dryer? Hang it on the line. Yeah, machine, no dryer. A lot of Jamaicans. At hang it house, on the at line. At our house, washing machine, no dryer. My really? house too. Where do you think we dry clothes at? On the line, on the line. I haven't did that my, I haven't seen my mom do that since I was a kid. No, that is it. The, it the, is the great. way the truth if, to the if, light. <laughs> if my mom see clothes on the line, I think my mom will blow a gasket. Like clothes on the line don't shrink your clothes. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah. On the line. Yeah. How big is the line? Long. <laughs> there are many rows many of li- lines. And, and many parts, too. Yeah. You got the sheets on one, then you got the underwears and the socks, you mm-hmm. got the undergarments, and you got the regular clothes. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got different levels to it. Line mm-hmm. after line after line. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then it depends sometimes, woman clothes, man clothes. Yeah, it depends on who washing. and who. Well, no, woman are washing. Uh-uh, that's too much work. When you could just ball the clothes up and throw them in the dryer and... It doesn't make... I mean, no. it just doesn't... Maybe I'm just showing my American mm-hmm. laziness. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the reasons my father won't come here. Like, lazy, lazy as hell. Yeah. yeah. Every I swear to you, every time he comes here, spoiled him. Before he even gets out of the airport, he's texting me complaining about American people, and I'm just like, Daddy, off the chain. Spoiled him. Daddy. Don't say excuse me. Don't say please. Don't say thank morning, you. Morning, afternoon. Oh, I, thank first of all, you for holding the door. That's a pet peeve I have when I say good morning and people walk past you Ooh. like you're not speaking English. Mm. Yeah. Or you, or or they say or they ask you for something they so they, they don't say please or mm. thank you. I'm big on mornings and ending good yeah. nights. Like yeah. cuz from me and you sleep last night? Good morning. Yeah, like I but, said that to a girl the other day like she texted me and she was like cat. I was like did we sleep together last night? And listen. she was like, "Huh?" I was like, "You know who I'm- Hi. <laughs> if I text you and I don't say good morning, I will text you after like mind my manners, good morning. Yeah. Yeah. If like, I, and it's usually if I'm excited about something. Yeah. And I just you know yeah. how we do yeah, it. Yeah, we jump in a text message we're like, like shit. And then we're sorry. Like, Wait, good morning, y'all. First thing. <laughs> but did y'all hear? Or yeah, like people don't no, care. It don't, I don't know nothing. And even you say me. morning to them, they just hop in the conversation. No, no, no. ma'am. Hi. Say it back. Hi. Hello. It's good different day. though. I don't know. Yeah. And even me being rude and whatever people might want to categorize me as like I'm very big on Can't manners. say I ain't got no manners, though. Yeah, yeah. Manners. But that's, it's all about being rude, brought up. Rude, sarcastic, mouth is crazy, yeah. but you can't say I ain't got no manners, exactly. though. It's all about what your parents taught you. Because yeah. my mom used to slap me in the back of my head if I don't say thank you. My mom mm. wasn't hitting nobody. If I don't say please, I... I'm <laughs> she like, wasn't slapping me, but... Listen, I, I wish I could even think of what would happen if I did that. My... F- my parents didn't play none of them games, no. My parents still don't play none of them games. Daddy, grandma, mom, no, no. My whatever is I like, can't even think about what would happen. I, I've, no. But I no. It's, it's to the point where it's like, it's sewn into you, though. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. It's like, you can't even think. Suppose me have the money. No. What? There is no possible way that I could not have had I'd be no dead. Manners. You get what I'm saying? It killed me with licks. And I already know my kids, like, y'all must have manners. What? Like, I'm not even, let's not even do this. Yeah. Don't even. Period. The same way my parents look at me, they're like, just because you were born here, this is what my parents do. <laughs> just because you were born here, don't think. You gotta act like were, them. That's the only thing that they, mm-hmm. that's what they tell me. They're like, the only thing about you is that you were born here. Yeah. Everything else mm-hmm. is that. So don't even come up here and think you're gonna act like these kids and run around and be disrespectful because it's not happening. Period. No. I used to. Before all, you do that, I not good, even huh? used to. I still, I, I'm like, I want to have my kids in Jamaica mm. or have them and send them home. Not that, I don't even really want to have them here. I'm a pull of me. Like, I like I think of and I'm just like I'm a pull no, of me. No, have them here, but I'm a pull of me. Listen, have, I was I was looking here, up. I would have them. I would I would I think I would just for the the whole stop. I was looking it up because I was like, bitch, if you're a citizen, right, you can have your children in another country and they'll be still a citizen of the United States because their parents are citizens. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I don't think, get pregnant. Just bring your kids up, like. (laughs) But do you want them to avoid, like. No, teach, like, teach them what not to do. You see that little bad Mm -hmm. muff or over that running? If you do that, I kill you, okay? Mm -hmm. If you do that, but that's, that's that's how you teach your kids. Yeah. I mean, if because that's how I grew up. I mean, it was kids around me that was just yeah. disrespectful. So threatened. And, and my mom so said, threatening helps. Y- yeah, yes. Because I was <laughs> petrified of my parents. <laughs> and I'm still scared of my mom. Shit. My mom don't play. Shit. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of my mom. But it's I, level I want to say, like, there's certain things that she put fear in me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like, she, you just know, you know when you know somebody not to be played with? Yeah. Yep. Her. Yeah. Hello. But she's very calm, whatever. Da, da, da. But you know you're not supposed to poke. Mm. Yep. That's her. My father, though, he's loud mm. and annoying. So I don't <laughs> nobody pays him any mind because he's already loud. Mm-hmm. So it's just like you talk a lot. But my mom don't talk like that. So you just like she bought that action. Yeah. My mom is talk and action. Talk and action. On, she get on that ass. You know my mama. She don't play. Like she straight up don't play with me, little boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I drag you up and down this. But my mom never beat my dad though. My dad used to beat me, but mommy never like never. I got Both my never. Both ass, yeah. My mother Both never my beat parents. me. I used to get away. Like really? she never ever. My mom has never put hands on me, like physical hands you think on it's me. Because you're the baby. Um, possibly, but I've also I have 
very interesting, you know, like okay. how she dealt with me considering, because I think she used to beat my sister. Hmm. So I wonder about her and how she decided to let him handle me. And when it comes to discipline, oh, she used to boy? let him discipline me. Uh. Uh. And that wasn't true for my sister because mm-hmm. my father never disciplined my sister like that. So the, but he disciplined the me. Deal with the you get what I'm saying? And son, I always yeah. felt like okay. it was a thing uh-huh. with them. Cause he, she you think they never, had a conversation about she that? Never, oh, no, but I feel like he always took. He always was like that with me though. Like mm-hmm. I was a tomboy. I wanted to do the things that he was doing, uh-huh. and I hung out with him the most. Same. Ah, okay. So to him, I'm guess I'm his son, his little boy. So mm-hmm. he's gonna discipline me because my, my mom wasn't like you. Know. Yeah, she into the feminine things. Yeah. Yeah. So she would deal with her. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a life girl still. Things that people needed to talk about and didn't talk about. Yeah. Things like that. Why did that not... Yeah. They never saw that as something to talk about? And like how come, come out and it's... <gasps> but they just... They know. Oh, yeah. yeah. They just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Willful ignorance. Oh, yeah. yeah. But happy days are here. Happy days are here. Y'all big Everybody big, out, so... Big, well, you big, know. big old man. Big old man. It wasn't as smooth as yours. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as smooth as yours, but... Mm. You know, time and yeah. prayer. But well, I mean, I heard, some, I heard some horror stories as well. Facts. But yeah, thank God I was blessed to not have that. You think that? But it ain't do nothing to make no, you strong. No, I, I pray for my journey. No, my journey. Yeah, like, I'm definitely. thankful for my journey yeah. because me and my parents, like, <laughs> to now, ways. I don't think we would have ever got to where we at, where I could call them and we talk and we laugh. Mm-hmm. And I'm bringing my whoever to yeah. like home home and sitting around a table and then we're talking and like, y'all know who she out is the country. Wow. you get what i'm saying yeah. so to get to that compared to getting like threatened every day do you know what i'm saying wow. shit like that growth thank god for growth look Ooh. look mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh lord and really like having faith too and thinking like it's and just praying better. for people for real because yeah. look, people, I had to really like put my anger aside with them mm-hmm. for real and be like, yo, I know yeah, it's what y'all taught, yeah. what y'all grew up knowing. I know it's not like a physical hate. Like, yeah. I hate you. Mm-hmm. It's like how your pastor yeah. said. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Love the sinner, So hate that, the sin. I had to move around a lot of my feelings mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and really like tap into like why they feel the way they feel. What's wrong? What do they feel like they're losing? Because obviously they feel like they're losing mm-hmm. something because it's a loss. Because they don't understand a lot of things, so obviously yeah. it's up for me to educate them as well. You feel me? Exactly. So, they and lose I their image of who they think they're supposed to be. And we talk about certain things sometimes. We touch on certain things, and they, I think they understand a lot more that just because I like them doesn't mean I'm not gonna have a family. I'm not gonna get married. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do. Listen. Hmm. Still a human. I mean, you know, even though my mom was like, uh, you know, yeah, can it be a real? She said, can it? We need a real one. I was like, what, what's that uh, mean? Uh, a real, like a real baby. Oh God. Meaning not a, uh, you know, mm-hmm. not a adoption a test tube or yeah, artificial baby. insemination. You gonna take whatever baby I get you. Period. Or you're not, because my baby's not about to come in the world. You treat my baby different. You're done. Because it's not the baby business. You're done. Yeah. That's and, you, why I, and you cut off. Period. I mean, that's another reason why I just don't want to get into all that. When you have a baby and then people don't think too. Oh, for the oh, you mean to be like uh, yeah. People don't think two gay people should have a kid. Which two drug addicts shouldn't have children, but um, y'all are are. okay with that? Here y'all are. I mean, I just feel like I still do do feel like a kid does need. Uh oh, here we go. I feel like um, a kid does need a mom and a dad figure in their family. I don't believe in adoption like that. Honestly, I just don't. Because a mom can do things that the dad can do things and teach you things that dad can do and vice versa. So Does it I, matter to you what gender the child is? No, it doesn't matter. To, it's, I just feel like it, it doesn't matter the gender of the child, but a mom is a mom mm-hmm. and a dad is a dad. Some things you can do with a mom, you can't do with a dad. So speak on single parents. Because you're talking about two-parent household. They need a mom and a dad. Why do they need it? I feel like because it's... It's what's needed in, in balance. I feel like it's what's needed in balance for the child to learn certain amount of things. And for example, I won't say my mom was a single parent, but um, my dad wasn't there much for me in my life, but um, he, was, he was there for my other brothers. You think okay. that affected you in a bad way? Um, yeah, because some things I didn't learn. I had to find out by myself. And some things that my mom can teach me about my body and stuff that... Mm-hmm. 
I was going through. You don't want to talk to your brothers and you don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. So I just feel like. So what happened to like uncles and like you, you don't stuff wanna, like that? You don't. You don't. You it's just talking not, about like it's, it's the nothing, father. Yeah, it's nothing like a bond between your parents. Okay. No matter what. Okay. No matter who. That bond yeah. is there. No matter, it can be your best, 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 best friend for ninety nine thousand years, mm. but a bond for your a dad and a, a the parents is just. What if you've never had it? But you what? But that that's when if you never had it, I feel like you'll be lacking somewhere. Like me, I was lacking knowledge of how my body is working. What is this? Why is this happening to me? Mm-hmm. Why when I do this? So I felt like I missed a part. I missed a part of learning about myself at a. When I should have, which my brothers knew. Mm-hmm. Like when, when we got older, we talked about. Oh, I knew that long. Oh, I knew that when I was. I was like, what the fuck. I feel like that's based on like the parent though, because I don't know the full details, but I know my mom talked to my brother about like development and things like that, like the things that you go through as a child and like you know going through puberty and like because she'll even say it like to him like you know i'm not a man or whatever and you can call your father and ask him but she tried her best to like eat my mom was one of she's working with white people for too damn long but she bought us like the books like the puberty books and shit like that for us to read and stuff like that like this is how the body works this is if this happens while you're sleeping don't be alarmed this is natural like shit like that so i feel like sometimes depends like instead of you being like completely lost on the subject it helps to have like i don't want to say any random person talking to you about it because of course you know your parent or whatever but i feel like if you have one parent that is willing to look at it from another gender standpoint and try to teach you it helps a little bit it's not gonna it helps a little bit but yeah you're right it helps a little bit but it doesn't like the foundation Mm -hmm. with the just the foundation that's what you need for example two guys um on my facebook just adopted a little black girl Mm -hmm. i'm just like two white guys just adopted a black and i'm like like what my brother and his husband adopted a little asian baby when this girl wants to learn about stuff that moms talk about with their daughters and this is your body and this is how you do it and this is like these are like what who is going to teach at this, this point you do it the you internet is going to teach no, them no, no be, they be, don't because, have to prepare themselves for yeah. it you pick no mm-hmm. when you do something like that you really have to think about what comes with it it's not just okay we have this little girl or whatever and then that's it okay what about her hair yeah what what you know what i'm saying her gender you it's more than that you need to know like her skin what mm-hmm. what stuff goes with her oh shit yeah yeah, exactly. just because you use it don't mean she use it. You know, she's a whole other person. So, I, so that, that's how I just feel like. I just feel like um, it needs to be some balance. Just because a mom, a mo- my mom gave me a different love that my dad gave me, and my dad gave me way different love that my mom gave me. It's just nothing like a mom. Um, <laughs> what? Oh me, I'm just look. It's, it's just it's, it's just, just whatever you dealt with at this point because. We, I see people come from two family households, shit. Huh. One family household, either they're, either they're raised by their father mm-hmm. and they came out just gr- girls that were just raised by their fathers mm-hmm. and they still have it all together. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But I do feel you yeah, yeah, that yeah. sometimes you do need mm-hmm. balance. No, there's some is, people that definitely yeah, yeah. need it. Yeah, but it's but some... there's people that can figure it what out. What they cannot get, they will figure out how to get it or they will, an aunt, sister, somebody. It won't be the same connection as you said. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But, but figuring at that out, point, you're going to have to just get what you can get. Figuring out, it can be crazy. Because people figure it out different ways. Yeah. And different ways, is when you figure it out, sometimes it's too late mm-hmm. for certain things. Because seriously, especially in the LGBT, ITQ. Okay. <laughs> Stop, it. Stop it now. <laughs> in the LGBT um, <laughs> QIA yeah, plus, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, XYZ. the community. You, you know how it is. It's It's different yeah it is and even about like like you said earlier about gay um should we teach it in schools and stuff Mm -hmm. no one taught me anything i learned stuff from the internet which could be if i wasn't smart enough i would have been out there just you you never know slanging dick exactly you never know yeah and i had a gay uncle that died of aids Mm. i was in 10th grade ninth to 10th grade did you find out he was gay because of the aids or did you know he was gay before the aids like okay so you knew before okay but he yeah he was but we never talked to anything just because i mean we were yeah i knew he was gay and i'm sure they knew i was but 
Cause still, it wasn't that same connection as mm-hmm. no. I've always had gay cousins. I don't know if I'm the gay that cousin. Those gay. who, those who were either in out or otherwise <laughs> in denial, etc. Don't even look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. There's a lot that comes with that. But yeah, I guess. But now, I guess for my generation, I am the gay cousin. Right now. But that's the best cousin. I'm the I'm the leading. I'm the. You got the flag. You got yeah, the. Yeah, I got the. I don't have a flag. Family at the moment. I I need to own it. Like I don't own anything gay. That's fine. Like I see you got your back. I, I'm like. Listen, that's fine. I be extra some, Literally, I honestly. I have a rainbow the, bow tie. I have a rainbow yes. belt. But oh I y'all gay gay. <laughs> yeah, but I also only do that at Pride. Yeah. I'm just trying. Yeah, like no, I, I when know, I was I younger, I'd be wearing a damn rainbow. When I was, <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, <laughs> yeah. when I was a gay bee. Yeah, when I'll, we was out here proud and young, and this is and me. want people to know you gay yeah. when, when they walk yeah, past you. Yeah, I want you to know yeah. this now. I at yeah, that time, but at that time I was still kind of, kind of working on my image. Mm-hmm. So you kind of couldn't really tell what tell was going on. You were kind of like, maybe you can tell, girl. Gay? Them clothes ain't fit you properly. Oh, Mind girl. your damn business. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's like, okay, clearly, oh, this yeah. little boy. Yeah, yeah. I like, like I said, this bag. From I've had this bag, I only bring it when I'm. No, that bag mad gay though. Jill. It is that bag yeah. gay as hell. Uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't bring it out nowhere literally mm-hmm. this is the only place this bag has ever been since really? i purchased it yeah i don't I, I, that's yeah. gay as fuck <laughs> like, well no i do have one thing gay a luggage tag someone gave me a rainbow luggage tag mm. that's it it just got the rainbow colors but i was like sketchy to put it on my back like what if somebody don't like gay people and they, they, like, mm. they take my back so that's sad that you gotta think that it's not on there anymore i took it off but sad it's the world we live in that's sad is, though because people Cause you don't know i'm black and gay uh-uh i'm out mm. <laughs> Child, we done been talking for long enough. We ain't gonna start on that one. Okay, I'll take the three. <laughs> Masculine presenting, <laughs> black woman, etc. Lesbian, all of that fun the shit. Dirt. Listen, the absolute dirt. I, I just want to say, um, when y'all get blood, mm-hmm. do y'all put <laughs> that y'all like? Um, Cause you know it's That's an what, option. What, what, it's what? It, it's an option that homosexual homosexuals can't get blood. Excuse me. I do. Yeah, you you you're not you're not supposed to. Well, I as a lesbian, I get blood. Yeah, exactly. But they so, want they also on, want my blood. Yeah, so. exactly. On the paper, they ask you, have you ever had blah 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 with another man? But yes, or no. And if you put yes, they mark you, and you can't get blood. I get blood though. Yeah, I don't know about you. Wow. Mean homosexual men? Men, right. men. Homosexual men can't get blood. Okay, that's okay. which when polls happen, they lifted the ban mm-hmm. and let homosexuals get blood. Mm-hmm. Which I said our blood was good then. For other mm. homosexuals. For other homosexuals. Mm-hmm. But you can't get blood. I said nobody ain't for the mess up my free pizza and my movie ticket. Because <laughs> I'm giving all the blood. Okay. So you put that you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, so you mean for like homosexual men. And they, yeah. I was about to say that because not yeah, for it's, the. It's literally against the Because they call me every. Because every, I'm the universal donor. I have the universal donor. Mm. So they always calling me like, oh, you ready for. To give more, like oh girl, me too. Yeah, you, you ready to get more? I had to put them in a spam folder. I'm not giving no blood <laughs> when I'm ready. And the I last time I went to, I, I couldn't even give because my witch call was low. She was just like, you can't. Mm. I was like, mm. your iron. Mm-hmm. See, mine is always low, I so I've sure never ready, so. right. I've never <laughs> given blood. This is that's crazy. Yes, girl. Yeah, yeah. I do know that though. Mm. That's how they. That's how they do us. Yeah, you imagine they, they just get, automatically assume yeah, that you, if soon as you put you guys you are banned from the system and yeah. you ain't getting beat yeah because mm-hmm. you gay and mm, that's disgusting like that is so disgusting you only can give gay people gay blood mm-hmm. that, <laughs> yeah. the blood is gonna trans- <laughs> convert that, them to gay that post shooting happen everybody they said okay gay yeah lift the ban yeah okay that's wow this is america yeah, that's another topic for you. Mm. <laughs> it is i don't know if y'all want to talk about nothing else we we done been here talking for yeah. quite some time i didn't I go didn't, to my bed i didn't told my whole life on him <laughs> a little bit um, <laughs> a little bit <laughs> i want to thank you for coming you thank know? you for having me this was really awesome thank you thank you thank you i'm gonna it was my first you. time meeting you but yeah you know, I, it's it my was first, great it was it was i'm gonna buy you some beyonce tickets so we can oh, go to the concert Jesus. together and experience it Together. I'm okay though. No, you're you not. Say he at the front though. At the front, girl. Next, we I don't, don't want no Beyonce. I need a cruise ticket. I need a cruise ticket, not girl, no Beyonce girl, ticket. That's what I. Beyonce need. tickets more than cruise tickets. 
exactly. Yeah. So save your money exactly. and get her on the I'm cruise. simple. I did tell you I like simple. No, it's okay. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the the nice stuff. The, the, oh Jesus! I'm gonna take you to Beyonce concert. Mm. <laughs> oh I'm gosh, gonna... y'all ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you for everyone listening. Um, you guys want to plug anything before we wrap this all the way up? You want anybody to follow you? you um, come... <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, um, follow me on Facebook. On um, Tevin T to the E to the V to the I to the N at C A T C S E N. Yeah, <laughs> follow me so you can um, see some videos and stuff. You like document like your experience? I actually don't it. document, but other people document. I was gonna say you don't blog. And I still you should blog. Uh, okay. Listen, I'm too busy. But then again, if he's to do that on the yeah. bo- and with the yeah, I be too busy. Um, Unless like you somebody else doing it. For and me. you know when you tell people to take a picture of you. They Jeez. they take a video like this. I'm over here. They, uh, what was you filming? Yeah. <laughs> and okay. that's it. yeah, that's it. But Tevin at C Instagram and Facebook. All right. Um, Instagram them sugar underscore. I guess that's Arrow. it. You can follow me. Okay. All right, and you know it's pointless talks. You can find us on all the fun stuffs, the Instagrams, the Twitters, the Facebooks, the SoundCloud, Spotify. The- <laughs> All of Spotify, that. Apple Music, Our Heart, yeah, all Apple that. Music, Tune and Radio, all the fun things. Um, like us, subscribe, follow, tell a friend, listen, etc. Give us five stars. Keeping a bad man feelings them to in a cell. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose, oh Jesus Christ, we can't talk. Whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in. Ooh, my booty hurt. Ciao. Look. That was so amazing. <laughs>